tonight. Move in thy power in the mighty name of Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit. Come and saturate our hearts in the name of Jesus. Come and purify our thoughts in the name of Jesus. Increase the density of our hearing this evening in the name of Jesus. Increase our levels of discernment in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it in the name of Jesus. Come, Holy Ghost. We worship you, Jesus. Come on, church, tune in tonight. Tap in, tap into realms of impossibilities in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in, your, in the Holy Ghost. Pray in your understanding. Rokotapa. Jatapaka reketesa. Zoria pakateso. Lepreketeke deke 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 bosha. Reseke mande shande. Le rotapa. Zima rekete sopariapo. Lepreketeke deke 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 bosha. You will own a holy Lord. You will own a holy. You deserve the glory. You deserve the praise. You deserve the adoration. You alone are holy. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We worship you in this house. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration, Jesus. Shaparasete. Haya paya 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 basa. Le paraba de 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 bosa. Je prasa ta 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 pa 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 basa. Jo parakate se de 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 bosa. We praise your holy name. We give you praise. Je prasa de. Gloria pa ka ta ka ta pa. Hallelujah, Jesus. You alone are worthy. Repakata sa da 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 bosa. Zebrate kepo. We pour our hearts out unto your throne room of grace in song, in adoration, in praise, in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says that you inhabit the praises of your people. Come on, church, give him praise, give him worship, worship the Lord tonight. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you thanks, oh God. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for preserving us. Thank you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, for restoring us, oh God, from sickness. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us under your mighty hand. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for divine protection, oh God. Thank you for what you are doing in this season. Thank you, Lord, that you are helping us even with the preparation of the conference, oh God. Thank you for all the mighty generals that you are sending to the nation of South Africa in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we are in the greatest season of our day in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, church, pray. Give him praise. Give him worship. Father, we praise you. We honor you, Jesus. Hola para bade gede gede bosha she preketa bada 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 bosha jenda barende bere bere bo we give you praise we give you praise we give you praise wara pakate se gede bosha we acknowledge you oh god you alone are worthy you deserve the glory 
all the honor in the name of Jesus. Let there be a move of fire tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, don't get tired. Come on, give him praise. Repoko takapa, repeke teke te, give him all the glory, give him all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, Rebekata, you are speaking to the creator of the heavens and the earth, the king of kings, the lord of lords. Jarapa sedededabosha. We bless the Lord tonight in the mighty name of Jesus for what you are getting ready to do this evening, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Restore unto us the joy of your salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Before I give over to the choir, I just quickly want to read one scripture in the name of Jesus. I honor my mother here tonight and my father in the name of Jesus. I greet you all. Let us quickly go to the books of to the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 8. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to push through tonight? Hallelujah. How many, how many of you love this house? How many, how many of you appreciate what's happening in this season? Hallelujah. We are so excited for what God is getting ready to do. The conference, the planning. We are excited for the leadership, our mom and our dad, the pastors, the leadership of this house. Are we ready to go? The Bible says, but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the utmost parts of the earth hallelujah we thank the lord for restoring our identity in the name of jesus the governmental church we are taking back our identity in the mighty name of jesus we will operate in power we will operate in the holy ghost in the name of jesus the father of this house has taught us in the covenant of the old, the Holy Spirit was upon. In the covenant of the new, the Holy Spirit is within. And we are trusting God for the old, for the combination of the old and the new. And there will be a baptism of fire in the name of Jesus. And we thank the Lord for what he's doing in this place. In the name of Jesus, come on, give Jesus a praise. Hallelujah, celebrate Jesus. Amen. Thank you, choir.
because of the Lord that we were not taken as prey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we ready to praise the Lord? Are we ready to praise the Lord? The Bible says don't only praise Him with your symbols, but your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
should not only praise the symbols, but our hands. So we're going to do it old school. Hallelujah. If you have your Bible, can you hold it? We're going to use it as a hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. All right, let's go.
to dance for Jesus just one more time. Yay! Can you shout for Jesus? Yay! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen! We give glory to Jesus. We are expectant in this place. His glory is going to come down. His favor is going to come down.
Shayabash. If there was a time we would have roared and said, We behold until we are formed. Aye. We behold until we are formed. Hey. We behold until we are formed. Until we are formed. Until we are formed. Hey. We come back until we are formed. Hey. Ayabasha. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we lift those hands to Jesus? Hallelujah. We have come to declare to him that we'll serve no foreign God. That's why we are here tonight. Because we seek more of him in the name of Jesus. Therefore, can we lift those hands? That's why we didn't sleep tonight. We wanted to come to our father. We wanted to come to our daddy and lift those hands and tell him how good he has been. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Him, can we tell him? I will serve no foreign God. I will serve no. My ashes.
your voice and just worship him let's bless the Lord let's bless the Lord bless him bless him bless him bless him this tonight bless him bless him exalt him magnify the Lord hallelujah we give you glory Jesus just open up your mouth and give him glory give him praise give him praise give him praise we worship you, Jesus. We love you, Father. We exalt you. We praise you, Jesus. Unto you, O name, O God, unto you alone, we bring our sacrifice of praise. We worship you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Father, we worship you tonight. Thank you, Father, for this time of gathering with you, Lord. The scripture says you have not gathered the sons of Jacob to seek you in vain. We thank you for your presence in this place. We honor you, Father. We worship you, King of glory. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Our soul bless you, Lord. Just open up your mouth and just worship him in the spirit. Mande broja kende le diga diga la brande de bosa. Maya brando ko sebra katelem bede de de be sende ya de de. Somebody just bless him in the spirit. Malabrum bege zumbra do kenzo bediga le mando. Embro ko sende ketembre de ko sembre de 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 bos. Abane kombe le gazumba le kembre dosa liga mande ketelo bosa. Iyan ene mo ko zumende ke liga brambe ketila monde. Maso frekoste kebeli katosi, alese mene kembre de de bashande de 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 bori alabados. Father, we worship you, Lord. We worship you tonight. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Holy Spirit. We worship you. We honor you. Rato keli bramo se tembre de gadosa, mayele bre de de bashande bragadosh. Mande kora mande de bori ale balagada, yada brande kola be de gadesh. Resto bele kende bredi zamande liberi adosa. We worship you. We love you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. We love you, Father. We exalt the only. Jesus, we exalt you. Jesus, we exalt you. 
Ashata le bakombre di alamandosa. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Lord. Somebody magnify him. Rate ke veli kabrado se telemundi. Mande bale ke brende ke fele brende ke tos. Rado baye kabala de ke brende de de beshete baladosa. Ande fa de ke me solamento. Ente veli kabrembo de ke sumbaleto. Ande palada ya da benge de brende ke tes. Aste vene ke poli ga so pelendo kosa. Ayete ke nde ke li ga brande ke veli kado balete bos. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Father. We assault you, King. We assault you, our King. We assault you, Jesus. We lift you up in this place. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There is none like you, Father. No other God besides thee. Unto you shall all flesh come. Father, we stand in awe of you tonight. We stand in awe of you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If you have two hands, jam them together for the Lord. Uh -uh, I said for the Lord. I said for the Lord. Glory. Somebody bless him with your clap offering. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Please go to 14 people and welcome them to church. 14. Go around. Go around. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Thank you, choir. God bless you. Keep moving. Bless somebody tonight. Give them a warm welcome. Hallelujah. Praise God forevermore. Glory to Jesus. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Thank you, choir. God bless you. Hallelujah. All right, you may be seated if you have met with 14 people. Amen. If you didn't, ask God for forgiveness because you are a sinner. And you need forgiveness. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Many of you are excited to be here tonight. Uh, yeah. My daughter wanted to get us into another zone. He said, we behold unto you. I don't know why you didn't continue. <laughs> we cover until we have strength. Amen. All right. Praise God. Everyone that is joining us online, God bless you. We're hoping that you are not in Johannesburg. Because if you were, you're supposed to be here. But anyway, anyhow, we thank God that you are joining us. Let's welcome our online viewers. Make them feel like they are part of the service. Amen. Praise God. You know, I remember one of the days we were on overnight, and um, I think it was Apostle Joseph Selman. He was flying from uh, some country back to Nigeria. And he called me in the morning. He says, man, I was watching your overnight prayer. You wanted to bring heaven. You were bringing heaven down. I said, okay. At least we, our prayer sustained you in the place. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. 
All right. Let's go quickly to the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 9. Bible says that if for if the ministration of condemnation be glory, much more doth the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. For even that which was done, which was made glorious, had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excelleth. For if that which is done away was glorious, much more that which remaineth is glorious. Somebody say amen to that. All right. Uh, the Bible says, seeing then that we have such, verse 12, that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. And not as Moses, which put a veil over his face that the children of Israel could not steadfastly Look to the end of that which is abolished. But their minds were blinded, for unto this day remained the same veil on taking away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away with in Christ. Somebody say amen to that. Hallelujah. There's a scripture that, that um, says that one star differeth in glory from another. Find it for me. Um, find that scripture. That scripture just dropped in my spirit now. I, and if you can just get it for me, that the stars are in different dimensions of glory. Because tonight, that's what we want to talk about, the glory. Somebody say the glory. glory. Somebody holler the glory. glory. You know, the Bible says, arise and shine. For what? Your light is come. And what? The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. So there is something about this glory that when it rises upon you, that even though there is darkness in the world and gross darkness, the people, the Lord will arise upon you. And his glory shall be seen. And when this glory is there, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Um, I think that the glory needs to return back to the church. Yeah. Uh, we spoke about Ichabod yesterday. Was it yesterday or two days ago? I can't remember. You know, it was yesterday, right? Um, that Hophni's wife, when she gave birth because her husband had been killed, um, her father-in-law had died, and the ark of God was taken from Israel. The Bible says when she traveled and gave birth to a child, she named the child Ichabod, meaning the glory is departed. Now, the word kabod means the glory. Ichabod means the glory has left or departed. So, when the kabod of God is sitting on you, the Bible says every eyes will see you. There is something about your visibility and the glory of God. Ah, no amen in this house. The Bible says there is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars. For the one star differeth from another star in what? In glory. So meaning that glory is in dimension. Somebody say it's in dimension. So everyone is not functioning at the same level of glory. And tonight, you are about to ascend to that level. Oh, you are ascending to another level of glory. Can I hear an amen, church of God? Let your amen prove that you are here. He says there are different levels of glory, different dimensions. And this glory that we are talking about, which is the glory of the latter day house, is far greater than that of the former. It exceeds that of the former. The former is the old glory. I mean, this glory was so much on the Old Testament that it, 
imagine the Bible saying that you and I are supposed to exceed that glory. Now, you may not understand what this glory is talking about. Maybe let, try, give me Exodus. Let me just digress. Can I just go a little bit off course? Exodus chapter 34. Exodus 34. Um, let me look for it. Where Moses went to meet with, G, with God on the mountain. Exodus 34. Give me verses 28. Exodus 34 and verse 28. Let's read from verse 28. Mm, yep. And the, the Bible says that he was there with the Lord. How many days? <clears throat> and how many nights? And he did not eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. So God had commanded him to say, hewn a stone and bring it up the mountain. And when you come up the mountain, don't come with anybody. I want you to come there alone. Leave everybody behind and come up. It's amazing that every time you meet with God, you go up. Say amen, somebody. I perceive somebody is about to go up tonight. I said, I perceive somebody is about to be lifted tonight. He says, next verse, keep going. And it came to pass that when Moses came down from the mountain with two tables of testimonies in Moses' hand, when he came down from the mount, that Moses wished not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. So as he behold him, the Bible says, as we behold him as in a glass or a mirror, that we are changed into the same image. We are changed what? Into the same image by the Spirit of God. And we are changed from one level of what? Glory to another level of glory. So the Bible says here that Moses did not even know that his face was shining. This is one of the benefits of fasting. Every time you wait on the Lord, your life shines. Ah, uh, okay. You know, for some of you, you know, how many of you are not fasting here? Let me see. Is there anyone who's not fasting? Where is the band? Where are they? The drama, are you fasting? You are. Who else is here? Which other band? Where is, the, where is the guitarist? Are you fasting? Where is Ndu? Where is Ndu? Ndu. John 8, 44. Are you fasting? Ndu. Are you, stand up, stand up. Are you fasting? You are not. Do you see why people just seem to remain the same. I don't know why I tend to you guys. But you see, how can you be ushering people during the conference? We are all fasting and you are not. I don't know why the Spirit of God just made me just ask for the band. This is what we're talking about. And I can promise you I will ask the same thing on Sunday. The ones that are not here, if you ask them, they will not be fasting. This is why the church... Now, can, do you know that as we are here, he's our weakest link. He's the door that Satan we used to enter us. He's our weakest link. This is the reason why... They, you see, <laughs> Joshua was going to fight a small nation called AI. You all remember the story? <laughs> and the Bible says that uh, you know, he decided to take a small set of people, like AI was too small. But prior to that, there was a guy called Achan who went to take a Babylonian garment and took it home, and God had instructed them not to take anything when they went for that battle. But this guy took, took one person and made the whole of Israel to lose their battle. This is how why the church has remained where it is. May God forbid, you are going to complete your, you were fast during the conference in the name of Jesus. 
I'm telling you. Look, I, I'm, not, I'm not here. Look, I don't want to mock anybody, but I can't give out an instruction here from this altar. Even pregnant women are trying their best to fast. And an able-bodied man is eating. And then you stand on the altar with me to play guitar. That's an insult to Jesus. Major insult to Jesus. This is why we are not ascending. Please look at your neighbor and say, don't be a betrayer in the body. No, don't be a betrayer. Don't. I, I, I'm just tired of casual Christianity. Anybody who's not serious, leave this church. I don't have time. I don't. Just go. Go somewhere where you meet your unserious set of human beings. But as long as you are in this house, you must take God serious. We are not here to play games. Listen, Jesus left here because he put the whole world in our hands. If we are not serious, how are we going to... You know when the Bible talks about revival? Revival is to revive the body so that they can go and do what they're supposed to do. Are we together, church? Please. This is one of the benefits of fasting. Is that there is a glory that, is, that comes on your life that will be visible to all men. Visible glory. That all eyes will see. That something is on this man that is different from every other person. And we are here to connect with the glory of God. The one thing that I've been praying for and crying for, I'm not sure if my wife heard me this morning, is that the glory of God return back to the church. The church is empty of the glory. And the New Testament church is born in glory. I'm telling you. Listen, when you have the glory, you can't be messed around. I can't, a church that carries glory, a robber, I'm robbers walk in, they steal and walk out. Uh-uh. Not the New Testament church. Paul looked at the guy, he said, when will you cease to pervert the way of the gospel? He said, thou child of the devil, thou fool of subtlety, thou shall be blind for a season. And immediately, not after, immediately mist came into his eyes and he became blind. That is the glorious church. Hello, 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 hello. That's the glorious church. Not this church that we have today. The church that is powerless. The church that does not have Jesus in it. We, Jesus needs to return back to his church, honestly speaking. Honestly. You know, I, they, I love what one man of God said. He said the church has been hijacked by pastors. That is, pastors have hijacked. You know how you hijack buildings? Pastors have hijacked the church from Jesus. And that's why it seems like we are operating as Ichabod. That Christians, we, don't, we, don't, we are not proving this God that we serve. If I read the Bible, I look at men like Daniel. Ah, Jesus. I don't know if you guys read Bible like me. Oh. That a king will just wake up one morning. Because he's such in a mess, he has made a big blunder. He sinned against God, took the cup in the house of God, the, the, and began to drink alcohol with it. Hmm. God now woke up one morning. A finger appeared on the, on the wall and wrote, Mene, mene, teke, ofasin. Nobody even knew. They, just the language, you can't figure out where this language is from. Nobody knew the language. Just like that. And when the king saw it, he was troubled. Called everybody. What is this? And Daniel said, calm down. I have access. I'm in the glory. And he could look at it and say, king, that is the hand of God that is speaking to you. God is saying that you have been weighed in a balance. How does, you know, look at the words that Daniel coined. Church, how does Daniel know that human beings or kings can be weighed? That you yourself now as you are, you can be put on a balance. He said you have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting. Now shall the kingdom be stripped from you and be given to the majors and the patients. 
That, that is somebody in the glory. Imagine if you can, if you have the sick man, a, a king had a dream. This guy was not there, was not with him, wanted to kill all the magicians because nobody had the answer. And then he called, Daniel said, Hey, relax. Called his friends and said, Let's go to God. They prayed and then they slept. In the night, God began to speak. That's why I told you. I said, listen, I'm glad for what you see, oh, but man, see solution. Stop seeing all this death. You will die tomorrow. Something bad will happen. See, so, I mean, somebody needs to get a secret code to the solution of this nation. Are we together, church? And he interpreted the dream. Told the king the dream and interpreted it. I mean, at what level is the church of today going to get there? When are we going to get there? Today, the devil is messing the church around. And we are quiet. Many people in the church are possessed of demons. Not jokes, though. Many are possessed of demons. That Satan can stop you as a child of God. Do you know what that is? Do you know who you are? How do you carry God and be stopped by men? You can't be stopped. Look at your neighbor and say, you are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. There is a glory that must return to the church. And, and I want us to believe God for this glory. This, this glory needs to come back. Mm -mm. I, I, refuse, I, I, I refuse to live my life like an ordinary man. I know ordinary life annoys me. I'm telling you, ordinary life, that is life that is... Man, anywhere you show up, it's not just because of what you're wearing or what you... No, there is something about you that speaks volumes. Amen. Just refuse to live an ordinary life. Refuse. For the glory that you carry. The glory of God. We need to go back in the glory. It's time for us to go back where? In the glory. I want us to pray for the glory of God tonight. Let the glory return back to the church. Hey, this New Testament church, if we understand. I mean, the other day they were showing me a man of God that is now wearing clothes, wearing women's clothes, painting his face. And he still goes back to church and people showed up in the church. Somewhere in Bloomfontein. That's a, that's an insult to Jesus. How do we carry glory like that? His name is something November or something. You know that, that dude met me on the freeway. I was driving on the freeway. And one, he just, I see this car parked, with, just driving beside me. Who I was on like 140, hooting, hooting. And I stopped. At the Malibongwe Ofram, I parked there. I went down, can I help you? He said, man, I'm Apostle November, and I, I like your car. I said, okay. <laughs> and I mean, I thought I was talking to a fellow man of God, and I took his number. Just yesterday, I saw, who was showing me, Pastor KG, or who? Uh, Pastor Benji. This man is dressed in woman uniform, like not uniform, woman's clothes, with painted lips, wearing a hair. And then the next Sunday, he was in church, and human beings, Christians were there. What has happened to the church? Where did we lose this? That not even anybody under him can discern that this guy is in error. What happened to us? Ichabod. The glory has left. Is that the church, the glorious church that Jesus died for? That I will, I will be so bold enough, paint my lips, put on ladies' glasses, put on my wife's wig, put on a dress, wear high heel, 
And then I wake up to you guys and I say, I'm an apostle. And you still came back to church. I will beat you up. <laughs> I'm telling you. When did we, how have we fallen so far? Abba, what happened to the church of Jesus? What happened? The church has been hijacked. Church, we need to pray. If these things don't bother, I can't sleep for things like this. I can't. This kind of thing gives me sleepless night. That today in our churches, we have gay ministers of the gospel. We have gay uh, gospel artists. And they come on stage carrying on like that and you are there listening to their music. How? What, what happened to the church? The church needs to... Listen, you know, I said to you guys, I'm not here to be popular. I will preach the truth. And for me, anybody that is offended, let them go to a place where they are not offended. But as far as I'm here, I will prepare people to meet with Jesus. I am not here to make money. I was a multi-millionaire before I came, I started church. So if I wanted money, it's not church I would start. I would have stayed in my business. I am not here because I want fame. I didn't even know there is anything like fame. I'm in church. Our church only went on social media two years, how many years? Three years ago, 2020, when we had Excel conference. They've been telling me, go on TV, go on TV. I say, no, I don't want, you know, when Jesus healed people, he would tell them, hey, be quiet. Don't tell anybody. But today's church, one healing, the guy will boost it on Facebook. Somebody got healed. What has happened to us? It just seems like we are so after fame that we have forgotten the glory. And Jesus is no longer seen. I never want to get to a point in this church where everything is about me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, it's not about me. If I cannot leave church and this church continues, then I fail. Hello? I have failed. I have failed. The church doesn't belong to me. It belongs to Jesus. Hello, church. It belongs to who? To Jesus. This is the house of God. How have we fallen so far that we have you know, the things that the early church, when it happens, they will weep for days. Now it happens, we are smiling. We are smiling. Church, I, I'm, I'm sorry to come here and sound and bring this bad news to you, but I want, I want your burden to change. This is not time to ask God for bread and butter. Uh -uh. We are bigger than, if your problem is bread and butter in this church, go, go to IK, we will solve your problem. Say amen. Go to IK, the, our leader is here. Go to, if your problem is bread and butter, go there, we will solve your problem. We will believe God and solve your problem. But we have passed, give me car, give me house, give me chicken. Uh -uh. We want the glory. We want the glory. If you have God, you have everything. Just make sure God is with you. <laughs> Amen, somebody. I was telling them that, I mean, the wall is going down now. You can see they've started breaking down the wall um, into the other side of the building. I was telling Pastor KG, I said, you know, truly, truly, if, if you do this thing without God, there is no way you will not go to a Sangoma. If you do ministry without Jesus, that is, you are in ministry and Jesus did not send you. I'm not talking about you open the church. If, do you know that out of the, all the churches in Johannesburg, there is very few that heaven recognizes that God said, I sent. He said there was a man sent by God. His name was John the Baptist. A man sent. Not somebody that sent themselves. Because today, 
What is driving people into ministry is a good life. Traveling overseas. Living in a good house. It's amazing that that's what's making people. The motive that you used to do anything is important to Christ. Your motive is important. Why do you want to be a pastor? Many people in this church, because we didn't give them title, they've left church. Is that why you are here? No. You are not here for title. Say amen, somebody. Amen. You didn't come here to be given a title. You came here to see Jesus. Amen. And as long as you have Jesus, you don't need a title. Amen. You don't. Listen to me, you don't. You don't. Please, I beg you. You know, the one thing I always... I always check with Jesus. Jesus, how far are we? Are we still, is me and you okay? Are we okay? I don't want to be doing this thing and God is not here. I tell you, ministry can be hell if God is not. In fact, even when God is with you, they, <laughs> oh, hey, Jesus. The warfare that you have to deal with, how much more when you are doing it without God? Beloved, don't do life without Christ. I'm telling you, please, don't do life without Jesus. Don't do your business without Jesus. Make sure that he is in your boat. Because the storms of life will come. He's in your boat. Make sure he's there. Make sure he's in your life. He's in your family. He's in your marriage. Make sure. Every Everything you do, check your motive first. Why am I doing this? Why do I want to get married to that woman? Am I marrying figure? Am I marrying beauty? What am I marrying? Did Jesus send me to this woman? Or to this man? Am I in the will of God? It's amazing how... Everything we do now, the motive is so material. Vanity. And, and, and this is why it seems like the more closer we get to serving Jesus, the more carnal people are, the more unstable they are. I mean, I go to churches. There are churches now that I repeat every year for their conferences. <laughs> and I will go. I will ask, where is this person? He's gone. I've never seen instability as it is in the church today. Come back in the next one year, you will find some people, they have left because they were not made a deacon. Last time we ordained deacons and deaconesses, some ladies left. So, that's why God did not allow me to make you a deacon. Because your reason is wrong. You want to show off. What, what for? We are not here for title. Amen. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Please, I need to help the church tonight. Many pastors need to close their church and go and sit down in other churches. During COVID, many pastors lost their churches. They don't go till today. They don't go to church. Now, church, you say you are a man of God. Your church closed down. You don't go to any altar to service your destiny. To give offering, give tithe. You sit at home because there is an apostle. Uh, you, you, apostle. Because you are, you are carrying the title of an apostle. It, these are the things that have messed us up. That has just, it has messed our, you know the church today, honestly speaking. When I, I saw a video of a church where robbers came in. They stole and they walked out. I say, Father, let something return back. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. What is wrong? Why are we harassed by wickedness? Where is the church that when robbers will come, they will freeze? That is, they will stay on the chair or as they walk in through the door, they start weeping. They will start weeping. Where is the church that when you come in, if you have just committed adultery or fornication, just as you come in, there is a presence that makes you start crying and repenting on your own. Where is that church? Father, let that church return. 
Let it return. Ananias and Sapphira lied in the church. They lied. And what happened? Both of them died. Inside the Holy Ghost Church. Today we come to church, no respect for God. Church service is going on, people are on social media. Service is going on, people are. And, and this is why we are just there. In J. What you guys, you just in J. May you not be an in J. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but. <laughs> I just know there is an in J. You are not the one. Amen, somebody. Something needs to return back to the church. I don't know. Please, just get the hunger that I have now. Something needs to return. We need this governmental church. The church that operates in authority. Esusia. Empower. The church that carries power. That when they open their mouth and pray, they will turn the whole city upside down. Where is that church? Where is that church? Today all we can brag about is what we drive, what we wear, what we... Where is the church that carries power? I'm looking for that one. That one. That, that can look at a king and call him a fox. Call him a fox. That can look at a criminal and say... Drop that gun or you die instantly. That's the church we are looking for. The glory must come back. I said the glory must return. Church, believe God with me for the glorious church. The church without spot nor wrinkle. Believe God. What we are seeing today is not it. Everything is entertainment. We have become entertainers. You know, Every dance in the nightclub is on the pulpit today. I don't even know how they learn it. I mean, honestly speaking, how do you learn those dances? There is a difference between club dancing and Holy Ghost dancing. Oh, okay. You won't like me today. As a, it's one of the reasons I hardly go for concerts. Hardly. Because when I get there, I just see the world. I was a dude uh, that sang GP, are you with me? One day, I saw a video of him dancing. I said, yeah, is this a man of God? I mean, it was so degrading. I don't know where we lost it. I don't know. What are we seeking for? There is a presence. There's an aroma that goes with somebody that God is with. There's a way you are. There is something about you that does not speak seduction, that does not speak, you know, people look at you and they're like, wow. Are we together, church? I, I don't know where we have lost the church. I don't understand what has happened to the church today. It's important that we come back to the glory. Church, I'm yearning for something in these 21 days that you become the glorious church without spot nor wrinkle. That you become the church that carries God's presence, that carries God's power. The church that knows how to, how to change atmospheres. That when we gather here during our praise and worship, people will be rising out of wheelchair. That as the word of God is going on, people are getting healed. People are repenting. The church of Jesus. That as Jesus, as we are in the service, Jesus is just sitting somewhere, just watching us. I mean, I used to, I, I read all Kenneth Hagin's books. How he used to say that while he's preaching, Jesus will just walk in. Man, I don't, somebody must desire that. How about, wait, Kenneth Hagin is gone. The glory is supposed to be much more now. It shouldn't reduce. Say amen, somebody. Amen. You in these 21 days, desire an encounter. Amen. An encounter that will keep you burning for Jesus. 
Are we together, church? An encounter that will keep you burning for Jesus. That will keep you hot for Jesus. I want us to rise on our feet. Let's rise. You are going to ask God, clothe me with your glory. Clothe me with your glory. Clothe me with your glory. Jesus prayed a prayer. Give me John chapter 17 and verse 5. Let's look at what Jesus prayed. John 17 and verse 5. Please give it to us. John chapter 17 and verse 5. Everybody read with me. One, two, go. Now, Father, O oh Father, glorify thou me with, with the glory which I had. So, meaning that Jesus came as a man and did not left the glory that he had in heaven, left it there. Because he needed to show us that ordinary men can wear this glory. So he came as a man without the glory. He came. And then now, he's now asking the Father that he should now, please, let the Father just take that glory he had when he was there and place it on him. And you know what? God answered this prayer. And when he was in the mountain of transfiguration, he took how many people? Peter, James, and? And when they got there, he began to pray. What happened? The Bible says as he was praying, a cloud just descended in the place. Meanwhile, the others were sleeping. May you not sleep tonight. Yes. No, don't sleep. You see, church, you don't know the time that Jesus will show up. Yes. Don't sleep. We are, we are going to pray this same prayer. Father, clothe me with glory. The glory that was on Jesus before he came to the earth. Pray the same prayer. Let God clothe you with his glory. Amen. That you carry the glory of God. Amen. And on that mountain as he was praying, three people he took there, they, pray, they were supposed to be praying together. And Jesus said, couldn't you guys, one hour, just one hour, he came first time, they were not praying. Second time, they were not praying. Third time, they were not praying. Meaning that if you want to see the glory, you must do something about three hours prayer. <laughs> Hello, church. The reason we are not seeing the glory is because we, you know, after one hour, we are tired. In fact, one hour is even too much. Some people, five minutes. Rababa, rababa, rababa. Father, thank you. You can't see glory like that. Eh -eh. You can't see glory. You know, many times my wife will say to me, man, baby, the things you say, though, like how do you get these things? How do you read Bible? And I will say there is something that happens when you tarry. First hour, second hour, third hour. Four, by the time you enter fourth hour, you start hearing things different from the sound in the earth. Hello, church. You start hearing different sound from that which is on the earth. We need to go back there. It's not every... Look, I understand you go to work, but once in a while, take time off and say, Jesus, it's me and you. Now, I, you have an advantage. You know what I do? When I start praying, I have... I, I prayed in tongues. Uh, they did a recording of my prayer in tongues for three hours. Three hours, five or ten minutes. Just put it, let it be praying. Until it stop, don't stop. Just keep it there. Stay far away from your phone. As it's blasting there, you are blasting. And by the time you know it, three hours is gone. That's how to get these things done. Church, you must get this thing, oh. You must get, God is coming back for a glorious church. I, we need Jesus. We need Jesus in our life. We don't have him. The way we are, we don't have him. We say we are born again. Uh -uh. How can we be born again? Satan is messing with you. Like, 
there is nothing supernatural about your life. Your life is very ordinary like every other person. How? I am walking with an unbeliever. Everything happening to him is happening to me. Uh -uh. That's not the glorious church. I'm talking about the glorious church that you look at the believer, you can't even figure this person out. You can't. Because there is something about him that is different. Because he carries solution. The CEO can't stay off of your table. Coming to you, asking you questions. Because you carry the solution to the company. They run into trouble, you are the one they call. Are we together? Church, that is the church I'm talking about. Everybody read that scripture again. Let's go. Everybody want to go. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thy own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Are you going to pray this prayer? Amen. Let God clothe you with the glory that was before creation. That is, you become a creator yourself. You walk around like a creator. Everywhere you enter, something must change. You can't carry this glory and anywhere you enter, things remain the same. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Things must change when you carry this glory. Boy, I'm looking for a glorious church. I'm looking forward to a glorious church. We have not seen anything yet. Listen, the church, we will get to a point where all these buildings, we are extending all these, they will be too small. When we will gather, we will gather 50,000 people. That's what we are looking for. All they say, uh, you know, not everybody will pastor a big church. Not everybody will pastor a small church. Not everybody will pastor. Nonsense. My friend, do you know how many unbelievers we have in South Africa? I told you guys one day I went to the mall. When I got to the mall, what I saw, Sunday morning, I went to buy gift for my wife. I forgot uh, it was, I don't know what, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day or something. I forgot. You know, I just forgot. So when I got to church, I saw everybody saying happy this to the women. I say, hey, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I rushed to Mall of the When I got to Mall of the South at 9 o'clock, son, the crowd in the mall. And here we are in the church, empty seats. And you say, you know, not everybody is supposed. My friend, you need, we need to rise up. You shall be empowered today. He said the time is coming when 10 men will hold on to you and say, bro, I'm, this church, I must go with you because they will see the glory. He said the glory will be visibly seen on you. He said that kings, the, the people will come to your light. Gentiles will come. They, no, you won't beg them. They will come to your light. And they are kings to the brightness of your eyes. You will, light is coming on you today. I say light is coming on you today. I say glory is coming on you today. Can I hear an amen, somebody? Church, something needs to change. Please don't be, don't be satisfied with a Mercedes Benz or a, 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 a Jaguar or a BMW and a house and we have arrived. You have not arrived anywhere. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Until the kingdoms of this world Become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. That, that's how we will reign. We are not sent here to come and buy BMW. We are sent here to dominate this world. With authority. He says, sit down at my right hand until I make your enemies what? Your footstool. He said, thy people shall be willing in the days of thy power. There will be a willingness to serve God. Not this thing we are begging people. Bro, come to church. Uh -uh. Somebody will meet you and say, hey, who are you? You say, I'm a, I'm a Jesus boy. How You need help? Okay. There is a place I need to get you to. Number 14 in parlor. Wait for me, I'll pick you. By, by Sunday morning, as you are dressing up at 7, 8 o'clock, he's calling you already. By 6 o'clock, he has given you 10 missed calls. That's the church I'm talking about. 
Not the one that is begging people. I'm talking about the glorious church. Something needs to return back. Are you ready to pray, church? Is anybody here hungry? All I'm trying to do is to give you an appetite for the glory. You need the glory. You need the glory. It must come on you. Hey, Jesus. You know, as we are doing this building, I said to my wife and I said to her, uh, Chooks, I said, uh, no, I was talking to, the, I don't know if it was the pastors. I said, it's obvious that God's hand is on this house. I'm telling you. This is like, give us uh, our daily bread. Like we wake up, uh, sometimes, I'm telling you today again, the bank called us, they blocked our card because we have, there has been swiping going on. We're buying sand, buying cement, buying this. Alarm, we're changing alarm system. We, I mean, swiping thousands of rents every day. Even hundreds of thousands. And then the money will finish in the account. The next day, it has replenished. As, as, I, I, you know, I told myself, I said, this can't be the working of Felix. I have no hand in this. This is Jesus and him alone. There is no way you can. I'm telling you, see, see, I'm, talking, I'm not talking to you. The guy watching me, the pastor, you can't do this thing without Jesus. You will go to a mountain to collect something. You will go to one Sangoma to collect something. Just make sure Jesus is with you. You can't do this thing. With, don't do life without Christ. Don't. Don't run business without Christ. We're going to pray this prayer. Put it on the screen. Don't show me. Put it there. Let everybody see. I put back my John. Jesus' prayer. Amen. John chapter what? 17. Put it back quickly. All right. Are you ready to pray? Amen. Say, Heavenly Father. Amen. Say, now, Heavenly Father. Now, glorify thou me. With thy, glory. with thy glory or glorify thou me glorify thou with thy own self with, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was in the name of Jesus open your mouth pray that prayer earnestly jebromando ko shabra ande kosa Masta vaca prende cosa mala prende que tose la pera dos que frede que pendo bragadose. Father, glorify thou me, O God. Lord, I come like Jesus. Glorify thou me, O God, with yourself. Father, glorify me with yourself and with thy glory, which was before the word was created. Glorify this house, glorify house of treasures ministries. Glorify everyone in this house. Rete ke bolo ko prende ke de bregadesh. Manda ya baran de bregadosh. Shan de bregabede gadebede gadosh. Ambreke te ke le brando ko se brekembele ke te. Ma baragada branda ya da brane ke de brede ke tosh. Ambe ke to so brekembele ke te ze ke te bregadesh. Man barade ke ya de brende ke te beliga bregadosh. Man de ye de breke ke te brende ke te le de 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 beshete. Rade ba ye ke breke tosh kabala ke de brende ke tosh. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray, O oh God, that thou glorify me, Father, with yourself, that you glorify me, O oh God, with the glory which I had before the world was created, before I was born. The glory, O oh God, retobo shikabolo nekete. My Father, glorify house of treasures. Glorify this ministry, oh, with yourself. Lord, glorify House of Treasures Ministries with yourself. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, glorify this house. Somebody pray, earnestly pray for the glory of God. Maye la cabrande cos cavala mandele bregados rade baye kebrene de 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 bashata bregados glorify thou me with yourself oh god father glorify thou me with yourself and with the glory which i had before thee which jesus had before thee 
oh, before the world was my father glorify me with yourself and glorify me father with the glory which Jesus had before the earth was founded in the name of Jesus Christ makotos somebody pray pray for the glory let the glory of God return back to the house of God let the glory of God return back to your life let the glory of the Lord return back to your destiny return back to your business return back to your career let the glory of God return Father glorify thou me with thyself Lord glorify me with your own self my God with the glory that was on Jesus before the world was founded before the world was created Lord glorify thou me with yourself glorify house of treasures ministry with yourself and with the glory which was on Jesus before the world was oh God in the name of Jesus Christ Barakia to Casula, a parake se velika brasco balate, mande brekete belekete brenda de de, shata bayada bragados, rate beske villa compe, emboko tombe di sole monte, babaraki zo villa compe, eleke zufa leka palaketo, eleke bisca vake palada, babaya candi zo monde ke villa cote, aseke fronde ke beleketas, rate bo lika bregados. Lord glorify thou me Lord with thyself Jesus oh God oh God oh God oh God oh my father glorify thou me with thyself glorify thou me with thyself with the glory which was on Jesus before the earth was founded glorify Ay 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 boko ipolo kito likoto kilo ebukuzu bigili babaliki bigidi mando kozadaya holy ghost Jesus 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 shada bakataya parakataya da bragada somebody pray rebobo soto breketos embrodo bosete bregades Maya la brekete de 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 bos sete bregados rate paye que te prende que te prende de de bos Maya da prende de 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 bos sete prende de 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 Glory to God in the name of Jesus Numbers chapter 20 Give me verse 25 Numbers chapter 20 you know, when this glory comes on you, you are untouchable. You are unkillable. Numbers. Hiya. <laughs> I read the scripture many years ago. It did something to me. He said, take Aaron and his son and bring them up to mountain of Hor. Next verse. Strip Aaron of what? What do you do? And put them on Eliezer, and Aaron shall be gathered unto his father, and shall unto his people, and shall die what, and shall die there. Okay, next verse. 
Or give me verse 28. Go to verse 28. Let's not read verse 27. Verse 28. Everybody look up. Read. One to go. And Moses stripped Aaron of his garment, put them on Eliezer. What happened to Aaron? So what was keeping Aaron alive? What was keeping Aaron alive? You are going to, Father, clothe me with the garment of glory. This is dead everywhere in the church. It's not supposed to be so. It's not. When your garment is on, death will have no power over you. Am I talking to somebody? Father, clothe me with the garment of glory. Church of God, remember, Adam and Eve, they were naked and they were not ashamed. Hello, church. Until what happened? They sinned. And what happened? They discovered that they were what? Naked. And then the Bible said that they had to make fig leaves or made leaves to cover themselves. Church, when this glory is on you, ah, how many of you want to be untouchable? You want to be untouchable? Father, clothe me with your glory. Clothe me. Let me put on me the garment of glory. The garment of glory. Let me wear it tonight. Listen, God is a prayer answering God. We are not here to ask for butter and bread. I told you, butter and bread is no longer our problem in this church. We are beyond that. The kind of faith you have now, by reason of the word that is preached in this church, you are beyond looking for butter and bread. Can I hear an amen? We're talking about financing the gospel. That God is raising kingdom millionaires and billionaires to finance the gospel. Not to eat bread and butter. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Men and women who they, they, they say we are building church. Okay, daddy is fine. They just gather 50 people. We all of us are giving 100 million each. That's, the, that's a glorious church. That's why I say to you, please, if you are in this church, remove your ambition. Let your ambition be Christ. Have Christ as your ambition. Listen, how many of you know what Matthew 6.33 says? Quote it for me. One to go. The kingdom of God and what else? And his righteousness and what else? All these things. How many of these things? That the Gentiles seek after. What will happen to them? They will come to you. Just see, let your motive become the kingdom. People are in church and they have motive. As I am here, listen, I don't, I have lost, <laughs> Jesus. You know, just remove your ambition. Remove your ambition. A pastor called me, he says, ah, apostle, have you built house in Nigeria? You need to make sure you take some money away to Nigeria to go and build something in case xenophobia comes and they chase you away. Jesus. Now, to even have that mindset alone is already a, a poor, you, you are broke. You, that is, I don't know how somebody will come and meet me and say, uh, I want to chase you. Chase me to where? I am here on assignment. I was not sent here by South African government. I was sent here by heaven's government. Listen. As the Lord lives, except God dies. But as long as God is alive, there is no human being born of a woman that can get me out of this nation. It's impossible. I am the one saying so. Not a human being born of a woman that can get me out of this nation. Uh -uh. It's, the person is not born. No. How? Except God is dead. I was sent. Jesus came to me and sent me here. How do you approach me? So I don't think like that. What are... People go and build 20 houses in Nigeria. For what? You are, I'm here. I have the work of God. I have souls to save. I didn't come to the earth to build houses. I have an assignment to save nations. 
I don't, believe me, I don't have ambition. If I'm going to do it, I will pity my father to do it. If I'm going to do it. But I have an assignment to do. Listen, how many years do we have to live? I am 52 now. By the time, in the next 48 years, I'm 100. That's if Jesus has not returned. Then I must be piling up houses when I'm supposed to be investing in winning souls. I go and build a house in a place where I go to once in five years. The day my father dies, I don't know what will take me there. <laughs> Look. Remove it. Look at your neighbor. Say, remove your ambition. Re remove it. Remove it. Remove your ambition. Make Jesus Christ your ambition. When you start a business, let Jesus become the ambition of the business. Let God know this is a kingdom business. This is not a business to make me money. It is kingdom business. But let me tell you something. When it becomes a kingdom business, you will see money. You yourself will run. Today, the last problem in House of Treasures is money. You and I are here. We have... How many of you have ever heard me raise, let's pray for money to come for conference. Have you ever, since you came to this church, how many have heard me pray that prayer? Raise your hand now. If you have heard me once. Conference is coming. This conference that is coming, just on ticket alone is about 600,000 or five, close to 500. It's, it's not what, we are not here to raise, give us money. Uh -uh. The, as long as we are in the glory, We are in the, listen, church, that's why I say to you, do what God sent you. When, when this building, we wanted to put a uh, gallery, balcony. The structural engineer came, did measurement, they did, me, uh, tested the steel, the strength, and the capacity, how many meters it can go forward. And yeah, we were cool. Did the measurement, Indian old man. So they went to do the drawings. Drawings is out. We need to just take it for approval. <laughs> as, as a usual, regado in the morning, braduja, lagombre, hesopro, mandaya. You are not doing any gallery. Tear the wall down backwards. Simple. Now, we are obeying that instruction. And it's as if, my wife said to me, baby, there is just no stress in this building. There is no uh, you are not stressed. Why? Because the one that commanded is doing it. Please, may you live in God's glory. Rise up on your feet. Rise up. <laughs> Whatever has been stripped from you must return today. When there is glory in a marriage, it will show. It will show. If you have tension in your marriage every day. I'm not saying husband and wife will not have disagreement. But it is, your marriage should be glorious. When you carry glory, your husband will not look for another woman. What is he looking for? When you carry glory, your wife will not be looking for another woman, another man. Just wear the glory. May you not be stripped in your life. We're going to pray this prayer. It says, Moses stripped Aaron of his garment. And put them on Eliezer. And Aaron died. Aaron died. But the one that carried the garment lived. You are going to pray, Father, let the garment of glory come on me tonight. It's an earnest prayer you must pray to Jesus. That he wears you something. So a, a different clothes is coming on the one you are wearing. That even as you leave this overnight, by Monday when you get to church, everybody will know. Get to work on Monday, everybody will know. When you meet your business partners, everybody will know that there is a different fragrance from you. A new fragrance. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, clothe me with glory. Clothe me with the garment of glory. Tonight, I desire a fresh clothing, a fresh garment, and let it be garment of glory. Father, wear me a new garment of glory. 
in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Let, it, let that garment come on you tonight. Father, garment of glory. Garment of glory. Reto shali kabradosa. Mamberegedo breketum beleketesh. Leke baraka payada brandeketesh. My father, clothe me, clothe me, clothe me with a new garment of glory. Clothe me, Jesus, with the garment of glory. Clothe me with the garment of glory. Oh God, clothe me with a new garment. Father, clothe me with a new garment. A new garment of glory. My father, this fear that we are walking around with as a church, it's not supposed to be so. We cannot be in the glory and be afraid. Father, clothe this house with a new garment. Clothe this house, house of treasures ministries, with a new garment of glory. Father, garment of glory. Father, wear me a new garment. Lord, I desire a new garment. Father, wear me the garment of glory. The garment of glory. The garment of glory. The garment of glory. Wear me the garment of glory. My ekebelege breketos. Rabe neke bredi gavala barande grede debe. Rade ba yeke brende ke de keliere beros. Mashada ba yada brande ke bedi arabara. Rabe de kafes kovala ke petos. Somebody pray. Desire this new garment. A new garment of glory. My father clothed the choir with a new garment of glory. Father clothed the intercessors with a new garment of glory. Father, clothe the treasures women. Oh God, our treasured women with a new garment of glory. My Father, clothe the men, mighty men, with a new garment of glory. Lord, clothe the ushers. My God, clothe them, clothe every department. The media team with a new garment of glory. Oh God, clothe us with a new garment of glory. Jesus, Ayakapo Silo. Mino kombe ketu zamante embrafe keske bele kepetola le kebras kevalate le briado kope le bredi kabelata mambarado ke zombe kele ketos ambre kete kele brende dede rade baske vala pele ketos abala kotende kezule le kebredi avele kembe ketosa rape kasko veleto my father clothe me clothe me clothe this altar with a new garment of glory oh Jesus Jesus clothe us with a new garment. Jesus, clothe us with a new garment. Clothe me with a new garment. Clothe the pastors of House of Treasures Ministry with a new garment of glory. Clothe my sons in ministry. Every church, oh God, submitted on the House of Treasures Ministry. Clothe them with a new glory, a new garment of glory. In the name of Jesus. Clothe us with a new garment. Clothe me with a new garment. Clothe me with a new garment. Mashaya de brende kebeli arebadosa. Mande de 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 bo shene mene kebre de de de. Rebe de kebre de gero sete bredi ele brede gero. Thank you, Father. Genesis chapter three and verse ten. Genesis three and verse ten. Quickly, help me, sir. And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden. I was afraid because I was what? Naked. And what happened? I hid myself. Why did I hide myself? I was naked. You will never be naked again. You are going to pray that God will clothe every aspect of your life with glory. Let God clothe your marriage with glory. Let him clothe your business with glory. Let him clothe your career with glory. Let every aspect of your life must receive this glory. I'm tired of operating like ordinary men. I need, I need the glory. Look at your neighbor, shout, I need the glory. Talk to them again one more time, I need the glory. Shout back to them, say, you need the glory. Tell them one more time, you need the glory. You are going to ask God, Father, every aspect of my life that is naked, clothe it today with your glory. Every area of my life. Some of you ladies here, your husbands are unbelievers. And they've refused to come to church. They've refused to give their life to Christ. Get in the glory. You didn't hear me. Get in the glory. When you return from this overnight, when that man look in your eyes, he will start repenting. 
every aspect of my life that is naked, clothe it with your glory. I was naked. How can a man that God used to come to visit in the cool of the day, not that he visited God. See, there is a difference between visiting God and God leaving heaven to come and visit you. Do you know what that means? That's heavy. That God will leave. The Bible says God will sit on the throne and he was bored. That's why when the angels look at men, they looked at God and looked at men and they said, what is what? Man, that you are mine full of him. The son of man that thou visitest him. He said thou hast made him a little lower than Elohim and you have crowned him with your glory. Church, if you know the crown you are wearing, you will not behave ordinary anymore. You will not. I've said it to you in this church. Anybody committing adultery or fornication, not in this church, go, see, go somewhere else. If you are here, let, let me tell you, it will begin to show very soon. Because there is a smell you are going to be giving off that everybody will know. Because the, glo the new glory that is coming on House of Treasures, it will be evident if you are committing sin. Believe me, that is, when you come in, there is an aroma that repels people. If you are here and you are sleeping with somebody you are not married to, ha <laughs> ha, oh boy, I wish you never came to this church. But if you are here, it's time to change. It's time to change. I've told those of you who are living together, if you are living together and you are not married, my friend, come, let us bless you. Apostle, but I haven't finished Lobola. Did he stop you from sleeping? Today you are popping children without, without marriage. No, it's not supposed to be so. I shouldn't find you pregnant without a ring in your hand. Only three amen from three sisters. I shouldn't find you what? Pregnant. Without what? A ring in your hand. How did you get there? With all these things I'm preaching on the pulpit? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't you desire this glory? Every time you are doing it, just look at Jesus in the face and see whether he's happy. May you never take off your clothes for the wrong person ever again from tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh -uh. To be carnally minded is death. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. You want to be, you want to have life and peace, be spiritually minded. Be spiritually minded. Don't get into lustful things. You see, this fasting period is a very sensitive period. You know, people fast and, and they contact demons. You know that? Because when you are fasting, there is a vibration, a level of vibration you have in the spirit. And because your spirit man is so open, a wrong spirit can get in. That's why during fast, avoid certain things. All these lustful things, avoid them. Because you can contact a spirit. Avoid things that will make you, that will place the wrong things in your heart. Avoid corrupt communications. Avoid evil appearances of, our appearances of evil. Avoid them. Because you're fasting. Your spirit is right now, your spirit is at a certain level. It's at a certain vibration in the spirit. And if you don't take time, this is the time that many people contact certain wrong things. During fast, it's very dangerous to be fasting and still be doing wrong things. It's very dangerous. You open yourself to demonic attacks that you will not be able to handle. I'm telling you, church, because there is a lot that goes with fasting. Are we together? Look through the Bible. Look at the people that fasted. Moses fasted, came back with the glory. Esther fasted. When Esther appeared before the king, what did the king say? He said, Esther, what do you want? Up to how many of my kingdom? Come on now, talk back to me. Up to half. Do you imagine the risk a king has to take to give half 
to a woman. That's literally giving out your authority. Fasting does that. Fasting will make you take half of the kingdom. Are you not saying amen? You not. Look at fasting. Look at what fasting did. Everybody that fasted, look at what they, what, the kind of miracle that they enjoyed. Look at the things that they were able to achieve. Look at Jesus. 40 days and 40 nights. And after, the tempter came with temptation. Church, listen. After Jesus fasted, he received strength in our capacity to say no to fornication, to adultery, to temptation. So when I see a Christian that is still masturbating, you are not serious. Because you're opening doors for strange demons. Get rid of that fast. If you have any of those apparatus that has batteries, hey, if you don't know, may you never know. But those of you who know, may you get that thing tonight out of your house, burn it. That's an altar in your house. It's a demonic altar. Don't place yourself in a compromising position. Jesus said, the prince of this world cometh. And what, what happens? He has nothing in me. May you be able to say that to the devil. That when you show up, you have nothing to point at. There is no area of my life you can say, yeah, I can have him. Uh -uh. Tonight we are going to pray. Let's rise on our feet. Father, clothe every aspect of my life that is naked. Clothe it with your glory. Adam said, I was naked. I was naked because I was naked. You will never be naked after tonight. Amen. Nothing in your life will ever be naked after tonight. Amen. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, clothe every aspect of my life that is naked right now. Every area of my life that is naked. Father, clothe it with your glory. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Mashada borogo bregedos, mayada braka pashanda braga da ya de brede de des. Mashe barakete brekete le brede garus. Embro de gesu brake bala ke brede de de des. Rabade ke breki sabala pala da ga ya da da. Membregedo sembre ke teliga braka fala katos. Embro toko se brende ke bele ke brende ke des. Mashada baya da brede de 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 beshe de bregede. Rebodoko brendo ko se brede geberi ere bene brede gedesh. Ma shede bere ke brendo ko shede brede gedosh. Father, clothe every aspect of this ministry with your glory. Oh God, clothe every area of my life with your glory. Every aspect of my life that is naked, Father, clothe it with your glory. Every aspect of my life, from my marriage to my children, oh God, to my ministry, Father, Lord, to my life, to my finances. Lord, every area of my life that is naked, clothe it with your glory. Clothe it with your glory. Clothe my children with your glory. Clothe my wife with your glory. Clothe my marriage with your glory. Father, clothe my family with your glory. Clothe my brothers and sisters with your glory. Clothe my spiritual sons and daughters with your glory. Clothe House of Treasures ministry with your glory. Father, clothe us with your glory. Pero sali kavre ke munda embra de kose bre ke vele brende ke tos maye de bre de 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 beshe de bre de 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 raba de ke bre de ke de beri ere beros mande ko raba shanda bragada ya Father clothe us with your glory clothe me with your glory every area of my life that is naked every aspect of my life that is naked clothe it with your glory 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 in the name of Jesus, clothe it with your glory. Rebo do breke bele ketos, embreke te kele brende de 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 bo shadaya. Mambra de ke beze brende ke beli erebero. Rade baye ke breke tos, rabe de ke supra de kabala ketos, embreke te kele brende kadesh. Mashada baya da brande ke bos, rabe de ke supra ke bali ka braga dos. Rane mene ke brende de 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 bo shadaya da ba. Maya kabala ka brande ke le brende kadesh. Father, clothe every aspect of your sons and daughters' lives with your glory. Clothe their finances with your glory. Clothe their lives, their marriages 
they are held with your glory. Father, clothe their children with your glory. Clothe their businesses with your glory. Clothe their jobs and career with your glory. Father, clothe us with your glory. Adam said, I was naked and I was afraid. My father, I was afraid because I was naked. My father, clothe us with your glory. Every area of our lives that is naked before you, Lord, let it be clothed with your glory. Father, clothe it by your mercy, by the blood of Jesus. Clothe it with your glory, by your mercy, by the blood of Jesus. Clothe it with your glory. Clothed with your glory. Clothed with your glory. Clothed with your glory. Clothed with your glory. Somebody pray. Let God clothe it with His glory. Let God clothe it with His glory. My God. In the name of Jesus, give me the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 14. Habakkuk 2 and verse 14. Glory to God. Habakkuk 2 and verse 14. Somebody shout, I need the glory. Say it like you are serious, I need the glory. From today, you will function in the glory of God. You will live your life in the glory of God. Everything pertaining to your life is in the glory. Can I hear an amen, church of God? He said, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of what? The glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. We are going to pray the glory upon South Africa. Glory must come on this nation. Everybody we know the glory of God in this land. We, we have, I mean, this is supposed to be a Christian nation. But the unbelievers outnumber Christians. The glory of God must return. He said the earth, somebody holler the earth. The earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory. That is a revelation of the glory of God is coming to the earth in such a manner as the waters cover the sea. It's a new wave of revelation that God will be opening people's eyes to see the glory. No longer will we beg people to come to church. For in the last days, it shall come to pass that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be exalted above all mountains and above all hills and all nations. How many nations shall say, let us go, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let's go to the mountain of the Lord's house that he may teach us his ways. For out of Zion shall proceed the law. Are we together, church? Because we are going to be issuing the law from Zion. It's no longer going to be from uh, Union Building. Ah, you didn't say amen. amen. We're going to be issuing the law from where? From Zion. It's time that Zion begin to speak. Zion begin to speak. No longer will this nation be given to the kind of laws that they have today. Today, you see, I was talking to a certain policeman. And he said, you know, we're just tired of making arrests. That's why police are reluctant when you call them. Because the moment you call police, they make arrests. Next three days, the judiciary releases them. And they are back to what they were doing. 
What's the point arresting them? So you call 10 triple one. What happened? They sit there for 30 minutes before they show up. It's intentional. By the time they get there, the people have done what they need to do. Try calling 10 triple one. If that is your emergency, you better know how to die heaven. Hello, church. For who he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide where? Under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God, in him do I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler, from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers, and under his wing shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that wasted at noonday, nor for the destruction that wasted, sorry, at noonday. He said, but a thousand shall fall where? And ten thousand at the right side, but none shall come near you. Only with your eyes you shall behold and see the reward of the wicked. He said, because I've made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, my habitation, there shall no evil before me and my family. Neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over me. They shall keep me in, in all my ways. They will bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against the stone. I shall tread upon the lion and the adder. The young lion and dragon I shall trample under my feet. Because I've set my love upon him, he shall deliver me. He will set me up on high because I've known his name. I shall call upon him and he will deliver me. And he will... Oh, church, am I talking to somebody? You know, church, you better know the right place to call. Know the right place to call. We have decided that our protection is from heaven. I cannot rely on security now. No, I can't. I think, you know, today, look, it's okay. People can get security, get, you know, pastors are now getting bazooka, AK-47. <laughs> God help us. I, you know, look, I have had incidences where people brought gun and pointed at me. But I came out of it. And it's through the hand of God. It's through the hand of God. I refuse to walk in fear. Uh -uh. Church, Adam said, I was afraid because I was what? When you carry the glory, you can't fear. Listen, fear is the lack of glory. Are you with me so far? Where is that scripture? Everybody read it one to go. He said, I heard thy voice, and what else? In the garden, and I was what? Because, look, church, if you are naked, should you be afraid or ashamed? Hello, church. If you are naked, what should you feel? Let's say you are, you know, some of these ladies that wear flesh skirt during spring, as you are coming out from peak and pay, that wind just... You see them, hey, hey, hey. They, are, they are trying to gather the skirt or the dress. It's not gathering because the wind. Why are they gathering the dress? They don't leave it and keep walking because they are ashamed. But this one, to show you that what Adam was not afraid of, or what was he? He was not naked with clothes. He was naked with the glory. I was afraid because I was naked. You will never be naked again. I'm telling you, there is a particular lady before she passed. I saw her three times naked. I would see her walking out of a, uh, a grocery store or walking out, one day I saw her, it was a, a you know, like these strip malls, um, you know, like not big malls like Mall of the South, you know, these shopping centers. I saw her walking out from one of the shops, she was naked. And a born-again Christian. And not long after that, she passed on. 
Because the moment the glory leaves, anything can attack you. If you are wearing, you can't die in the glory. Uh -uh, you can't. That's why when Jesus was on the cross, God had to lift it. If Jesus had the glory, the cross were for where? What did he say? Eloi, Eloi, what? Finish it. Why? What does he mean? My father, my father, why have you forsaken me? Meaning that God had to lift that glory temporarily so that Jesus can die. From today, you will never die. I declare you will, there is no man born of a woman that can kill you. I say there is no man or a woman born of a woman that will be able to kill you from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to rise on your feet. Rise. Father, fill this. Let the knowledge of your glory fill South Africa. Let the knowledge of, he said the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God. As the waters cover the sea. As the waters cover the sea. We're going to pray for this nation. This nation will contact glory. they are gone at the days when the, anybody can resist God anymore. This nation is coming back to the Lord. We declare it so from this altar. This nation is coming back to the Lord. Our president is coming back to Jesus. Our vice president is coming back to Jesus. Julius Malema is coming back to Jesus. So Missy is coming back to Jesus. This nation shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God as the waters cover the sea. Shall be filled. No longer. No longer. I'm telling you, you will see. That's why you don't write these guys off. You will see them repenting. I'm telling you. One day, Somizi will wake up and say, I want to get married. Genuinely marry another a woman, not a man. I'm telling you, it's going to come to pass as the Lord leave it. Are we together? The earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God. Church, I want us to pray for this nation. I'm, I have a burden for South Africa. I love this nation. I tell you. I have... <laughs> Listen. I've said it many times. There is nothing in my country that moves me. No, I'm... I'm and I'm being on, it's not because I, I hate my country. No. Nothing in Nigeria today that moves me. No. When I go to Nigeria, I want to run out as fast as I can. But there is something God placed in my heart for this land. This nation. I, I don't, I, the last thing I want is for this nation to decay. To deteriorate. We don't want to get there. The glory of God will fill this nation. Are you ready to believe God with me? Say, Heavenly Father. Like you are serious. One more time. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, let South Africa be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God as the waters cover the sea. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. It's the will of God. Pray let this nation, let South Africa, let our land be filled with the knowledge of God. Let it be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. My Father, let the earth, let South Africa be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God as the waters cover the sea in the name of Jesus. Lord, let our president, oh God, let them, give them a revelation of your glory. Let them begin to see the glory of God. Let President Cyril Ramaphosa come into the glory of God. Let them be baptized in your glory. The Vice President, oh God, the ministers, everybody in the parliament, we pray that they be filled with the glory of God. Let them be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God as the waters cover the sea. In the name of Jesus, Mashada Baba 
Baradeka sobrani ele bragadash, maya keteska vela kebranda katos, embroto koso sobrani keteke legados, e rabe de ke subra ke delegados. Father, fill this nation with your glory. Fill this nation with your glory. Let the glory of the Lord fill South Africa. Let the knowledge of the glory of God fill this nation. My God, as the waters cover the sea, in the name of Jesus Christ. Shata baya kabala brande kete, mande de 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 boche de breke pele ketos, maye kete zeviga la brande kete beriere beros. Shada baya da brada da 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 da, rabe de ke brande de 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 boche to breke ros, rabe de ke subra de kabala kete breke ros, mande de 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 boche no me ne ke brande de 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 de, raba da ya da brande da 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 ba shata breke ros, baradi kabla ke breke pele ke ros. Mande de 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 bos sono mene ke pregados, mande de 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 bos sana mana ka prada yada prada dada, rabe de ke prida ka pada yada prada keros, rabe de ke supra ka pada yada prakadas, raba da ka da bala da prada dada bos, mande de 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 bos sana prada dada bos soto pregades, maya ka pase ke pregades ele prada keros, rabe baye ke prene ke seke bali ka pregados, mande de 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 bos sono mene ke prada ya, yada bakas ka bala bala prada kata. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Give me Haggai chapter 2 and verse 6. We're going to read to 9. Haggai, hey give me, if possible, in the New Living Translation. Haggai hey chapter 6, chapter 2, verse 6. If possible, give me in the New Living Translation. Everybody write it down, look up. For this is what the Lord of heaven's army says. In a just, in a, a just little while, while oh, sorry, I will again shake the heavens and what else, and the earth, and the earth and the oceans and the dry lands. Keep going, and I will shake how many nations, all nations, and the treasures. The what? Uh, what is the name of your church? Okay, let's keep reading. And the treasures of all the nations will be brought to where? To the house of treasures. <laughs> I will fill this place with what? Say it who? <laughs> Next verse. The silver. Glory comes with silver and gold. I don't know why you are pursuing money. Stop pursuing money. Pursue Jesus. Pursue the glory. When you have the glory, money, silver, and gold will follow. He says, the silver is mine. The gold is mine, says the Lord. I will shake all nations. Church, we're going to pray. This house will be filled with glory. I'm telling you, God is shaking things. Oh, nations are being shaken. This governmental church, Nations are being shaken. Said, I will make sure that all the treasures are brought into this house. <laughs> the treasures. The treasures are coming into your hands. Yeah. Ah, your amen, your amen, your amen. I say, all the treasures are coming into the treasures of nations are coming into your hands. As, as a prophecy from God. The treasures of nations are coming into your hands. The treasures of nations are coming into your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. The prophetic word. The treasures of nations. I'm experiencing a very little part of it and it's nice. I can tell you. It's nice. I can tell you. The treasures of nations will be coming to you. You don't have to worry. Listen, church, I've told you in this church, money should be your last problem. If we as a church don't have money problem, you shouldn't have money problem. Hmm. Are we together? We're going to pray. Lord, fill this house with your glory. This temple, this house. Now, remember... When we talk about the house in the New Testament, who is the house? All right, at least you know that. So you are the house. 
you are the house. He says, all nations, I will lift their treasures from them and put it into this house that are here. And I will fill this house with my glory. He says, and the silver. So he tells you what is contained inside that glory. The silver inside that glory is whose? It's mine. The gold is whose? Mine. Say it who? The Lord. Are you ready? Church, are you ready? This time around, you are going to pray for yourself. Oh. Lord, fill this house with your glory. Let the treasures of nations follow that glory to my life. Amen. Treasures of nations. People should be remember you in Afghanistan. I'm telling you. <clears throat> the other day, somebody sent me 200,000 from Zimbabwe. In a land where there is no money. People are crying. 200,000. In this week, not last week. <laughs> Look, Zimbabwe. Where? Somebody called yesterday from Zambia. Called, no, today from Zambia. He called, he said, I've been calling the church phone. I need to come. I have been commanded by the Lord to come and drop his seed. I'm flying down from Zambia. Aya. Hey, hey, Jesus. The treasures of how many nations? They are landing on your life from today. I said they are landing on your life from today. As the Lord live it. Listen, I am I'm not telling you stories. Stop pursuing money. Amen. Believe me. See, pursue God. Amen. Pursue Jesus. Amen. You now know why Paul will, after the, at the end of his life, he said that I may know him. <laughs> and the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his suffering. Be made conformable. <laughs> so, you know, when you know, you see, eh, when you know God, eh, things change. Yeah. All this tension you have is, the, all this, you know, he said they looked unto him and they were not ashamed and their faces were lightened. They looked unto him. Stop looking unto man. Yeah. Stop. If man is your provider, you are not serious yet. They looked unto him. I have looked unto Jesus in this ministry since he started till today. Remember, I shut down my business after the first year of this church. And I've been in full-time ministry. Everything we have done here has been done by the finger of God. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Please, I beg you, once more, as your spiritual father, stop pursuing money. Pursue Jesus. Who do you pursue from today? Jesus. Pursue him. Pursue him that I may know him. Let Jesus be your focus every day you wake up. Let him be your desire. My desire is to worship you. I'm hungry for you. I want to know you more. I want to know. I'm tired of knowing human beings. People know their pastor more than they know Jesus. Please don't know me more than you know Jesus. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Know Jesus more than you know me. Anytime people ask you, where do you go to church? Say, I go to a house of treasures where I go seek for Jesus. Not to listen to Apostle Felix. When I stand here, I am standing. Apostle Felix must decrease that Jesus must what? Decrease. Know him. Pursue him. I, I want to change your narrative from today. You know, Jesus made a statement. He said, if it was not so, I will not tell you. Listen, this boy here, I am telling you, if you stop pursuing money, money will start pursuing you. Amen. Believe me. There is nothing anybody can do now for me to be broke again. Never. It's impossible. It's impossible. Everywhere I go. I told you guys I was in New York. I went to iPhone to buy my wife iPhone. Was it? No. Was it? Yeah. I went to buy her iPhone. As I got there, 
there was somebody from South Africa. He said, man of God, I've been looking for you. Ah, <laughs> you've been looking for me where? Me and you. I said, when did you arrive South Africa? He said, last week from, arrived New York. He said, last week. I've been looking for you. Right inside Apple, he wired 30,000 runs from FMB to FMB. I just said, pen, pen, kabosh. Hiya. <laughs> I bought the iPhone. Man, stop your tension. Don't pursue. Who do you pursue from today? Yeah. Who do you pursue from today? Yeah. I am telling you this thing so that you can awake. Don't put, the love of money is the root of all evil. How come everywhere I am, this thing is following me everywhere? What am I doing to deserve it? Nothing. Just that we wake up every morning. Jesus, we love you. Roja, Gala, Brohezo, Mande. My wife is here. When she hear me pray, I have never... You can't hear me praying, Lord, give us bread and butter. Father, fill this house with your glory. Father, give us your presence. Lord, solve people's problems. Lord, heal that person. Deliver that person. Lord, save our president. Lord, I break down the structures of corruption. I tear down the structures of evil in our land. Father, let this nation tend to the Lord. I will do that one hour, two hours, three hours. Some cases I enter four hours. But when I get serious and I separate myself to pray, then I do those 10 hours, 12 hours. Just seeking for Jesus. Then when we finish that, you will start getting calls from Zimbabwe. Hello. Where people are... Do you know how many people are saying, let me tell you, this person that sent me this money, there is a possibility that somebody in their family is broke. Hello? Don't have food to eat. But the Lord, he said, the treasures of how many nations? <laughs> Stop. Stop. From today, you no longer pursue money. Am I saying don't go to work? No. You go to work, but go to work with the intention, Jesus, I am doing this for you. This job I'm doing is yours. Everything I am is yours. And then you will see what will happen. So let's pray this last prayer. It's prayer for yourself. Father, fill this house with your glory. Fill this house. Let all the treasures of nations begin to run towards this house. I've told you the little I've tasted. I'm still tasting. A day is going to come when somebody will call me from America and say, we are flying a jet to you. I'm telling you. Flying a jet to you, the Lord has commanded us that you need the jet. Why am I having it? Is it to brag that I have a jet? No. It's to preach the gospel. I couldn't go to Brazil because I told them that I need to be back here on Sunday. I told the men of God, I said, listen, I need to be in church. We are in our fasting period. I've never traveled during a fast for the 12 years of this ministry. I've never. I'm always here in September. I had to beg the man of God. I know he's angry with me. He's upset. But I mean, if I had a jet, I just have uh, Pastor Benji... Uh, protocol, let's get in. Come in, come in, come in. We're flying, preach one day, preach the second day. After I finish preaching, we enter plane. But by the time I'm waiting for SAA, oh, SAA, where? Oh, okay. Are they still there? In fact, I called SAA. The lady told me we no longer fly to Brazil. We have not resumed. Is that who I'm going to rely on? Apostle, why do you need a jet? Hey, 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 keep quiet. <laughs> Apostle, you know, <laughs> Uno and Mercedes, they are car. <laughs> hmm, hmm. Look, how many hours have I been standing here? You have been sitting, standing, sitting, standing. I can keep you here till 6 a.m. on my feet. I can't finish standing like this and get into an uno. You will punish your body. <laughs> you know, I don't know why church people are religious. 
Uh -uh. If God gives it to you, enjoy it. Don't be apologetic. I'm saying it, there is nothing wrong in having anything good. But don't make that your priority. Don't make that your, don't, don't, don't fall in love with things. These things are just tools. And the other day, I met Pastor Benji somewhere. Uh, it's a shopping center, right? So I came out. I was wearing slippers, track pants, and T-shirt. I came out. He just looked at me. He says, Hi, this is old money. I said, what do you mean? He said, this is old money. He said, who comes out of a Bentley with slippers? Then it dawned on me that I was driving a Bentley because I was, for me, I was driving a car. Hello? Hello? Because when you see people that come out from Bentley, mm, <laughs> this is how they walk. I was wearing a sleeve. It, it didn't occur to me that I came out from a Bentley. Say amen, oh. It didn't. Honestly speaking, it didn't make any difference. I was wearing slippers and track pants and T-shirt. He looked at me and said, hey, dad, this is old money. I said, what do you mean by old money? He said, he shows somebody that has had money long time. Church, these tools are they, they are valuable for life, but we don't worship them. Now, God gives you a Bentley, you stop coming to church. God gives you a Bentley, you, start, you stop praying. God gives you a Bentley, your pastor becomes small. You move into a big house, and now you are speaking phonetics. I call you, why are you not in church? Pastor? <laughs> oh, hey, I have seen things, eh? I, uh, pastor? This is somebody who was daddy, 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 daddy. All of a sudden, I call pastor. And I'm like, dude. Now I'm pastor. And sooner than you know it, they fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Come on. Mm -hmm. Let all the other names fade away Till there's only you Let all the other names fade away Oh, let all the other names fade away Jesus, take your place Jesus, take your place let all the other names fade away. Oh, let all the other names fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. One more time, let all the other names, all the other names fade away. Oh, 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 let all the other names fade away. Feel there's only you. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Come on, Jesus, take your place. Let all the other names fade away. Ay, 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 Why I lift it up? Let all the other names Araba Baba Shata Kapaya. We worship you, Jesus. Hey! Let all the other names fade away. Hey! Maya Kose Kele Balosa. you 
Jesus. Let all the other names fade. Let all the other names fade. and just pray that prayer. Father, fill this house with your glory. Fill this temple. Let all the treasures of nations begin to come to me. Pray it for yourself in the name of Jesus. Just pray it. Pray it quickly. I'm done. I need to call another pastor. Please pray it quickly. Lord, let all the treasures of all nations begin to come into your people's hands. Let it begin to come into their lives. I call the treasures of nations the treasures of nations fill this house fill this temple with your glory oh god oh god oh god i will shake then all nations and the treasures of all nations will be brought into this temple it will be brought into this temple let the treasures of all nations begin to come into your people's hands oh god let the begin to come into your people's hands oh god Mashaya balo bande breketos, maya la brada da 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 da. Rede bede ya de brada da 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 bo shada ya. Man brede de de bo shene mene ke brede de de bo. Man de 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 bo shi ali bala da 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 da. Rada ba ya da brada da de 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 bo shada ya da da da. Maya la brada da de 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 bo shi ali bala da da. Man de 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 bo shana ma ya da brede de 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 de. Raba da ga ya da brande de 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 bo shana ya da bala da. Rabba de ke de bre de 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 be se de ye de bre de 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 man de 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 bo shana ye de bre ka do de bre de de bo ma ye de bre da 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 da. Somebody pray. Oh. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you blessed in this house? Put your hands together for the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. All right. At this point, help me welcome Pastor KG as he comes to do the next. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, clap for him as he comes. Come on, come on. Good evening, saints. Good evening, saints. Mom and dad, um, thank you very much for this honor and privilege. Never take it lightly. It's always an honor to serve my spiritual house in any capacity. And that you've, you've just entrusted me with such opportunities I never take for granted. So mom and dad, thank you very much. Um, I really honor you. I deeply love you. Amen. Amen. All will remain standing. Um, just allow me to say something very small, very, very small. Um, I think it was at the start of August. At the start of August, uh, I was just in the office, and while I was there, I just heard God say to me, this is the season of breakthrough. <laughs> now, now, I might have shared this earlier on with, with the youth, but I feel led to share it here because of where we are concerning the season. Now, someone might say, why would Pastor KG be telling Pastor, why would God be telling Pastor KG about the season of breakthrough when we are in the season of preparing for the governmental church to rise? Now, while I was, so the youth, if you have youth in your house, they'll, you'll see they're making noise about breakthrough season. You'll, you'll see, you'll hear that they're making, they're making noise 
And earlier on, I explained why breakthrough season. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 and 7. Let's just read that. That's the anchor scripture for the conference. And we're going to pray for We're going to pray on that. It says, for unto us a child is born. To us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he'll be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government, government and peace, there'll be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord will accomplish this. He will perform this. Now, I went on, 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 on Sunday while dad was preaching on the governmental church. I went to go look for the word government in the Hebrew, in the Hebrew Bible. And the Hebrew word for government is Mishra. The word Mishra means rule and dominion. The funny thing about this is that the only time you see the word government is in Isaiah 9, 9 chapter 6 and verse 7. You don't see it anywhere else. However, the concept is from Genesis until Revelation. The first order that God gives to man is be fruitful, multiply, and have dominion. That whole concept of dominion is have governance. So the church or the man of God or when creation of God men and women are called for governance and that is why we are seeing a lack in us doing the things of God it is because we're thinking we want to become part of the program we've not been called to be part of the program we've not been called to, to fit in we've been called to stand out we've been called to govern we've been called to rule we've been called to dominate but unless we dominate we are losing I said it to the young people that we don't have time to be second best. Second best is first loser. We're not called to be first, second best. Number two is first loser. We're not called to be losers. We are the head, not the tail. We are above, not below. We are the first, not the last. We are the greatest, not the weakest. We are called for governance. The church needs to stop playing petty politics and petty parties. It is time for us to rule. The root word for Meshra comes from the word Sara, which means to contend, which means to fight, which means to fight until you break through. Now the next time you see the word Sara, it is, it is in Genesis chapter number 32, verse 28. It says, from this day onward, you will no longer be called Jacob. For as a prince, you have had power with God and man and have prevailed. So we need a church that will run. Listen, we will not become a governmental church by being passive. We will not become a governmental church by being lazy, by being slothful, by being complacent, by slacking. No. Oh, when dad is saying all these things, it's, it's, it's kicking something on the inside. We cannot become a governmental church and possess the nation by being complacent. No. No, it will never happen. We need to rise. For as a prince, you have had power with God and man. I want us to rise. Lord, ah, awaken something in us. Awaken something in us. This conference is not just, the theme of this conference is not just a word. It's a prophetic declaration that the church of God must walk in governance. We must walk in governance. And something on the inside must rise where you are God. Let there be an awakening. Let there be an awakening. Come on where you are. Rasha katabalakos. Baratengos ketabeladai. Lord, let there be an awakening. Let there be an awakening, oh God, in your people. In the church, Rasa Katope Katoma Lasata, Shebranata Balakosoto, Barakata Baradoseke de Beledai. Lord, let there be an awakening. Let there be an awakening. Awaken your people, O oh God, to this great contention. And follow God, we will fight until we have governance. 
Shaka prato kopela taka palata. Shaka prato sotela kapa. Roto kopeta kapala toko ze palata. Roto kopela taka taka palata. Equip us, O oh God, for covenants in the season. Equip us, O oh God, for covenants in the season. Joso to veladas. Gebrados epakata kapala doga. Rehole brada je veladaga. Roto to bela kata pakata kazo. Jasa to bela da kaza. Zoko te brada kaja veladosa. Jita kombres kata velado. Jatake pol. Jabre to konde belesai. Joto bela kaza varaki to beleta. Kato te barati kose peleta. Let there be an awakening in the church. Let them rise, O oh God. Let them rise, O oh God. Let the church in KZN, in Western Cape, in Bumalanga, in Northern Cape, in Gauteng, in all the provinces of South Africa, O oh God. Let them be a right awakened, O oh God. Jakato Bela Kasavarata. Shoto Bela Kasavele Dedo. Shoprinas Katavalatos. Shoprinas Katavalatos. Shoprinas Katavalatos. Lepros Katabeladane. Sikatavalatacheto. Shata Brasse Vele Dose. Baros Katavele Dashe. In Jesus' name. The word government comes from becoming an empire. And empires are ruled by people who are princes. That's why the angel says to, that's why the angel says to Jacob, as a prince, you have had power with God and man. Today's church is just too focused on, I just need, you need both. Jesus Christ grew in favor, in stature, and in wisdom with God and man. The same was with Samuel, with God and man. So you need to pull from God and release on earth. So many of us are busy trying to release, but we've pulled nothing. Others are pulling, but we are not releasing. There's a strong imbalance. We're praying 12 hours to pull, but we don't have the perfect stature because we have never grown with favor with man. So we have nowhere to release. So that's why we will stand up and say we're fighting for Mike and title. Mike and title, pulpit and podium is only 5% of ministry. Honestly, let's, let's just be real. Let's just be real. We're chasing 5% while there are souls perishing in the world. While they the street corner, do you tell them about Jesus? You want to tell us your dominance in the church that you're accurate in prophesying? Did you prophesy to someone at Spa, at Woolworths? How about you try that on the bus so that you can win a soul? Use that gift. Don't intimidate us. It's doing nothing for me. I don't mean it in a bad way. But however, we need to go. We want this local champ mentality when we've been called to rule the world. Look at this, First Chronicles chapter 14, verse 9. When the Philistines heard that David was king. Uh, when they heard, the Philistine had come and raided the valley of Rephaim. Next verse. So David inquired of God, shall I go and attack the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hands? The Lord answered, go. I will deliver them into your hands. Next verse. So David and his men went in up to Baal Parazim. And there he, he defeated them. And he said, as waters break out, God has broken out against my enemies by my hand. So that place was called Baal Parazim. The word Baal Parazim is the Lord of breakthrough. Ah. Oh. Breakthrough came because a king stood. We are kings and priests in Christ. And we, do too, we need to stand. When you stand as a king and a priest, you've been guaranteed one thing. You will break through. I want us to pray, Lord, 
awaken us today. Um, I just want us to pray for an awakening. I just want us to pray for an awakening. You see, when you are not awakened, you'll be like Peter. Peter on the mountain of transfiguration. He was with Jesus, Moses, as well as uh, Elijah. But he was asleep. So while Jesus prayed, the fashion of his countenance was changed. Peter's could have changed, but he was asleep. He was in the very presence of God. He was in the atmosphere of heaven. However, he woke up and said, let's build three tents. He didn't know what he was saying. So God interrupted that conversation and said, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. Hear he him. So unless you awaken, you will, you, will, you will mishandle the things of God. You'll be like Uzzah trying to help God and catch the presence of God. We are not called to, ah, we are called to carry it. We are not supposed to, too many of us are too familiar. And we need an awakening. You are a king and priest in Christ. Dad taught us on Wednesday, as kings, we rule with authority. As priests, we rule with power. And I need us to be, we need to be awakened. Stop crying like the world. You're supposed to solve the cry of the world. So how will you do that when you're crying like them? Lord, awaken us to our kingship. The Bible says, King David, inquired of the Lord. People who were allowed to inquire were priests. But David was the only king who had the audacity to say, you know what? I will inquire. So he walked in both his kingship and priesthood. I want us to pray, Lord, awaken us to our kingship and priesthood. This is true governance. This is true governance. When the Philistines heard that the government had risen in those times, they wanted to attack. But David thought, I will arise like a priest and I will go fight like a king. If you are not awakened, you will cry with the world. You will run away. But right now, where you are, say, dear father. Say, father. Come on, I need to hear you. Say, father. Awaken me to my priesthood and my kingship that I will dominate and rule as you have designed me to in the name of Jesus. Come on, release it. Shata bokote bela katas. Sheke brato so vele bara. Kasong tos kote bela tase. Sobra kata kapaka toko bela ta. Rachido brete ve jon de brato so. Shaka brata kapala kata. Lord, let the church be awakened. 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 Let the church be awakened to the priesthood and the kingship that is in them, O oh God, that follow God. They will rise and go to the valley of Rephahim, the land of the giants, and that we will defeat and we will conquer. Sotonda Baladase, Soto Black Atoshka de Beladai, Soto Black Ito Beladazo, Shana Brakota Belakas of Verena, Shakato Belakatai. Come on, come on. We are praying. Paul says, Awaken you, O sleeper. Awake, 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 awake. This is the time for the church to be awakened to the greater dimensions of God's power. They're available for the church. Raso toko bela koto bela sante. Soko te bela kata. In this season, oh God, where we will witness breakthrough. In this season, oh God, where we will see the governmental church rising, oh God. We are declaring in this hour and in this day, we will be awakened to kingship and priesthood. In Jesus' mighty name. Roto kosh kada bela daza, soto brata kapaka toko to, shak brati no malasate, soko brata kapaka toko bela da, koso tosh kada bela daze, soto bela kasabola dashe, shok brata bala danda, shada brata kado bela da, roso to bela daze kaparodo, roto bela kada parasai. One moment, shak brato to bela. Soto breaka da balata. That awakening is coming into your life. It is coming into your family. You will go and you will possess. You will go and you will break through. You will do exploits for Jesus. Ekado aki malazai. Sata brato she bela dai. Koze brata se blate koda. Shodo breda balata kaza. 
Pelotose ki de beletachia. Shaka taka brato ko beletai. Soto breta balasika. Shata brate vele soto. Shata brata ka baladande vele sota. In Jesus' name. My last prayer point is in 2 Kings chapter number 13, verse 14. I just to pray, you know, because of the abuse, we only know what many call the prophetic, but I call it the pathetic. Because the prophetic that we know is subjected to just these, I don't know what, what to call them. If you see the prophets in the Old Testament, they were not concerned about people's personal details. In actual fact, to see a prophet, you needed to hide. You see, there are prophetic intercessors, prophetic worshipers, prophetic preachers. In actual fact, the word prophet is not anything big. It's just inspired teacher and preacher. So as a prophet, you are teaching and preaching inspired by the Holy Ghost. That is what the prophet is. It's not, we've demeaned it to something that is not. So it is someone who is sensitive, highly sensitive to the voice of God. That at any moment he will preach and teach. That's why most prophets had sons. So a prophet, one of the things, he does not only pro accurately prophesy to your situation. But he will accurately teach you how to hear the voice of God. Any prophet that teaches you, shows you how accurate he is, but cannot point you to the scriptures accurately, their prophetic call is questionable. But there is the highest dimension of the prophetic. It is called the governmental prophet. Yeah. The governmental prophet, you see them in everywhere in scripture. Joseph. A man who just has dreams. However, a man hands him the nation. Gives a slave, a foreigner, with a criminal record, with a price tag, with a, a history. Walking, thank God he had forgiven, but he would have been walking in bitterness because his brother sold him. But Pharaoh said, out of you, you're the only person who has a higher word than anyone else in this land. And because of that prophetic call on his life, he was then allowed to discern or, or, or dictate the, the matters of the nation. You have Daniel. That was another prophetic governmental prophet. True prophets are seen by places they occupy in government. And today we don't see that. We see prophets who call themselves governmental and all they're using is their status for other things. Not to bring the nation back to God. Or teach the nation how to hear God. But there was a prophet. Elisha. It says Elisha was suffering from the illness from which he died. Joash, king of Israel, went down to see him and wept over him. My father, my father, he cried. The chariots and horsemen of Israel. And Elisha said, get a bow and, and some arrows. And he did so. Take the bow in your hands. And he said to the king of Israel... When he had taken it, Elisha put his hand on the king's hand, opened the east window, and he said, he, he said, and he opened it, shoot, Elisha said, and he shot. The Lord's arrow of victory, the arrow of victory over Aram. Elisha declared, you will completely destroy Ar the Arameans at Apek. The words that the king says to Elisha are the same words Elisha said to Elijah. So a king is submitted to a prophet. So this tells us that the, government, the reason why our government is in this situation is because it doesn't have credible prophets who don't care about status. There are prophets called Samuel. Samuel who was, Samuel is the highest template of the prophets. That he was a kingmaker. He wasn't concerned about becoming a king. All he wanted to do was anoint. All he was called to do was anoint kings. That kings could not rise unless he was there. Kings could not go unless he was there. He had a bias towards Saul. But God said, "Ah, uh -uh, now it's time for another king who will take the, rule, the, the, the rulership and set the template for kingship. Go and anoint him. So today, we have parking lot prophets who want to come tell you, 
you're going to marry yellow bone. Uh uh-uh. uh. Please. Please. No, let, no, honestly speaking, I, you know, the, the, the issue of the prophetic has badly hurt my heart. We've, that's why I call it the pathetic. That you marry yellow bone or you don't, uh uh-uh. uh. Leave that one. How about the nation? How about the nation? Where we are? We had too many prophets coming out there and prophet. They could not predict COVID. Okay, let's leave that they couldn't pro- predict COVID. They couldn't predict or show us how, what's the solution. Till today. Till today. Till today, they're silent. They're back to telling you, number 14 in Bala Road. Wait, whoa, whoa, okay, wait. Thank you, okay. After telling me, 14 in Bala Road, then what? Then what? Let's talk about the nation. I want us to stand and rise. Lord, in, while you are raising the governmental church, raise sound governmental prophets. Prophets who will go to our president and say, President, this legislation you've just put in is going to put this country to jeopardy. Fix it or God will deal with you. And he will walk out with no fear or favor. Not because he's disrespecting, but he carries the voice of God. That is what a prophet must do. Because of the weight of God's voice, I need to come and deliver it. I don't care about your reputation. I don't care about your army. I don't care about you carry. I just care about the weight of God's voice. If you know the weight of God's voice, you will not mishandle it. But you will handle it with sensitivity. I want us to rise. Lord, as you're raising a governmental church, let governmental prophets arise. The greater than Elijah's, the greater than Elisha's, the greater than Joseph's, who will speak with no fear or favor. I want us to pray where you are. Yes, commandos can have a time. Lord, raise governmental prophets. Raise governmental prophets. Prophets who are not concerned about fear or status quo. Who are not moved by money. Who are not moved by fame. Who are not moved by reputation. But, but they are moved by their voice. They will only show themselves because your voice has sent them. Akas koto veletas. Lord, restore the original pattern of the prophetic in this nation. Let true, genuine prophets arise. Lord, as you've been cleaning out the false, let the true arise, O God, who the, who the president will lean on. Shatta brosa vele danse. Shatta bala brana yana brada dada. Rada bakada brate ko shatta bala kates. Le pere de gebe yada brenda gebe le kates. Raba de se preke fele gados. Father, raise them, raise them, raise them. Raise the, raise the Josephs. Oh God, out of the governmental church, raise the Daniels. Out of the governmental church, raise the Estas. Out of the governmental church, raise the Nehemiahs. Out of the governmental church, in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, raise the path out of the governmental church. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. And the church say, Amen. Somebody shout, I'm a Daniel. Somebody shout, I'm a Joseph. Somebody holla, I'm a Nehemiah. Somebody holla, I'm an Esther. These are all systems of government in the Bible. So when you went through Esther Arise, you were being raised as a queen in the nation. Uh, 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 I thought you would get more excited than that. You were not just raised from Esther Arise to just sit down. The theme is Esther Arise. Esther, take your place. Esther, step out and get the contract. Esther, step out for that position. Esther, go and submit your application. Esther, go register that business. Esther, take over. Arise and 
shine for your light is come and the glory of God is risen upon you this is the governmental church you know as I listen to my sons I know they are getting it uh, Pastor KG is getting it uh, uh, Dickin Larry is getting it Dickin Victor is getting it you will get it too. you must get this thing you, you don't know how I'm excited when I see that people are catching this flame because this is what it is this nation have not seen anything yet hey Jesus uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah look there is a surprise coming I won't say so much I've seen it coming as I'm looking at you I'm seeing the surprise coming there is a surprise coming the Bible said these are men who turn the city upside down there is a surprise coming let them wait they have ignored us they have neglected us they've thought that we were feeble Jews but something the glory of God is returning back to the church of Jesus and the governmental churches are rising the Esthers are rising the Nehemiahs are rising the Daniels are rising the Shedrach, Meshach and Abednego are arising my God the Josephs are arising the Jacobs are arising glory to God the Isis are arising <laughs> it's not only Esther arise Isaacs are arising where the Philistines will look at you and say you are bigger and mightier than us how does a whole nation say to one man you are bigger than us get out you are you are mightier than us you are greater than us surprise is coming mark my words there is a surprise Jesus listen that's why I'm turning the church loose back to Jesus because Jesus, this time around, he's returning with a surprise. I'm telling you. I'm just seeing him riding on the horse, coming back to his house. And saying, the time is now. The time is now. Please, I beg you. I beg you. In this season, just be sensitive. Go back. You see, everything you hear from this altar, go back. Stop listening to the any other man. Listen, I'm not saying it's wrong. Catch the one they are giving you here first. You see, because like I said to you, God will never give an apostle a Roman vision for you here. Uh -uh. They can teach you the word, but the now vision for your destiny is from this altar. Please go to the messages, get it. This governmental thing, get, when it enters you, ah, when he enters you, uh -uh. you won't be playing with little, little things anymore. No. When a, a, a young man comes and says, I want to sleep with you, like an Esther, you want to slap them because you made for the throne. And then one brat is telling you, I want you to take off your clothes. You look at them and look at the throne and you're like, which should I choose? Uh-uh. You, you, you will, something will, oh, you will get it. I'm glad. I just listened to KJ. I know, uh -huh. he's entering. I, I got excited. He's entering. Something is entering. Say amen, somebody. Are you blessed, church? Let's put our hands together for Pastor Vero as she comes to take us in the next prayer for the conference. You see here, where is, she? is Pastor Vero around? Where is, she? oh, okay. All right, put it one more time. Give it up for her. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here comes the glory of the Lord, sweeping in the room. Can we feel the glory? Here comes the glory of the Lord Sweeping in the room Can you feel His power, His anointing, His grace is all over this place Oh, 
Here comes the glory of the Lord. It is sweeping in the room. It's here, it's here, it's here. The glory is here. Sing with me. Here comes the glory of the Lord. releasing to us in this season the governmental authority the scepter has landed in house of treasures the scepter has landed in house of treasures it's very evident the scepter is here amen and so we thank God for what he is doing and I also want to thank God for leading our apostle our man of God in this season and giving him a word for this nation. Because I believe that God wants to do something in the atmosphere. In the spiritual realm. He is moving the church the governmental way. Hallelujah. So I want to thank God tonight and this morning. For daddy and for mommy. Thank you so much for giving yourself to God. And allowing God to use you in this nation. And in this house. To change lives. Our lives are changing. Amen. If you came to this church, I mean, if you joined us recently, if you were skinny, you can see or can realize that you're becoming a <laughs> fat. <laughs> Amen. Because of what God is doing. Amen. I'm just going to move quickly to pray for the conference. Amen. It is very evident. That this year's conference is coming with a different wind. The wind of glory is blowing in Mzansi. And it's coming from house of treasures. Amen. And so we are going to pray that when the glory comes, it will stay. When the glory comes, it will sweep all over this nation. Sweep all over our homes. Sweep all over our churches. In the name of Jesus. Look at somebody and say no more mess in our homes. No more mess in our churches. No more mess in our nation. No more mess in our lives. Because when the glory comes. It will never depart. Amen. So we are going to pray. Amen. For the miraculous. Miracles, signs and wonders in this country. That God will release himself in us. That God will release himself in this conference. That God will release himself in this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus. That there shall be an outpouring of the spirit in this nation in the name of Jesus. And so the book of Psalms chapter 77 and verse 14. The Bible says that you are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the people. He displays his power among the people. God is about to display his power in ownership conference. Amen. And he's not just going to display it anyhow. He will display it in the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. When we see the glory, we shall see the power. Amen. He says that God. Himself performs miracles. There is no miracle that is performed by men unless God 
himself releases, he releases his power. And so because he's the only one that has the power to perform miracles and to change things in the atmosphere, he will also display his power in the ownership conference in the name of Jesus. In the book of Mark chapter 7 verse 37, the Bible says, They were astonished beyond measure, saying, he has done all things well, that even the deaf can now see, even the mute can now speak. We are going to pray. Father, display your power in our, this year's ownership conference. Display your power. Let the deaf hear. Let the mute begin to speak. Lord, let the, the, the lame begin to walk. In the mighty name of Jesus, display your power, the miraculous power. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the deaf begin to hear. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, do it well. 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 Display your power in the ownership conference 2023. Father, display your power. Let there be miracle signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. Let there be miracle signs and wonders in display in the mighty name of Jesus. Maso kalamadesa, mase kedelebo shatayade, erama katelebo shandanadosa, mase kedelebo shandanado, erama katelebo via makade. Miracle signs and wonders, Lord, we need miracle signs and wonders on display at ownership conference 2023 in the name of jesus display your power let the deaf hear let the mute begin to speak let the lame begin to walk in the name of jesus let them be miracles signs and wonders let the blind begin to see in the name of jesus lord do it well lord do it well lord do it well that men and women will be astonished. They will marvel at your power. In the name of Jesus. Mashala la lo se tala masha, maroko la la Maria mande le kere bo shata, masha kere le bo shala la lo sha. Miracle signs and wonders, Lord, display your miracle signs and wonders in ownership conference this year. Men will see, they will be astonished at your works in the name of Jesus. Men will see, they will be astonished at your work. In the name of Jesus, Masola Lava, Mashe Telebosa, Mandore Maria Candelebos, Mashe La 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 Dos, Rema Candelebosa, Masha Teleke de Bosa, Marocco Le Deba, Mashe La 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 Dosa, Mashe La La Dos, Etalaba, Masolo Leba, Masolo Le Maria Gande, Masha La La Dos, Mashe Teleke de Bosa. Masola la madre de bosa, re cala la no se la 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 no se la la dosa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the book of Philippians, chapter one, verse nineteen and twenty. Philippians chapter one. Philippians chapter 1 verse 19 and 20. The Bible says, For I know that this will turn out for my deliverance. He said, Through the prayers of brethren and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, it will turn out good. Ownership conference will turn out good. More than expectation of men, it will turn out good. Why? Brethren, Gather for 21 days praying. There shall be an outpouring of the Spirit of God. In ownership conference. Because we are praying. 21 days in verse 20. The Bible says that according 
to the earnest expectation and hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed. And with all boldness as always, so now also Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. Christ will be magnified. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Before then, Jeremiah 29, verse 11, that says, I know the plans that I have for you. There are plans to give you a future. There are plans to give you a hope. Now, the prayer we are going to pray this morning, that in this year's ownership conference, may God's plan take shape in my life. May God's plan take shape and be activated in the lives of brethren as they travel from afar, as they come from afar. May God's plan be activated in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. That the, after ownership conference, we will begin, you know, to produce good fruits. Good fruits only. Good fruits only. If you are failing in your business, you will begin to succeed. If you are failing in school, you will begin to succeed. Good report all the way. Open your mouth and begin to pray. God's plan in my life will take shape. Lord, because there shall be fresh outpouring in this conference. Because there shall be fresh outpouring in ownership conference 2023. So let your plans be activated in my life. Let your plans fit in my life. Let your plans come to shape in my life. In the name of Jesus. Because of the outpouring of the Spirit in ownership conference 2023. May your plans take shape in my life. In the name of Jesus. May your plans take shape in house of treasures. We shall not be ashamed. Neither shall we leave this place with shame. In the name of Jesus. May the word of the Lord come alive in us. May the word of the Lord come alive in us. May the word of the Lord come alive in us. In the name of Jesus. Lord your word says that the thoughts you have towards us. They are thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give us a future and a hope in the name of Jesus. We shall not leave this place in shame in the name of Jesus because your plans begin to take shape in my life. Your plans begin to take shape in my life in the name of Jesus. Your plans begin to take shape in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Masola la nananosa. Masoto le kalamandesa, masola la 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 lo se de la ba, mandele baria gada la dosa, masala la 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 lo se ta la ba, maroke da la masande le bosa, maroko lo le baria manda la do, riko la masita la ba, masolo le baria gande, liso la 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 do, era mania maroko la ba, masete le kere boraga. Mashala la lo se la la ma mande re maria kade le ba mashela la do e ro koria mande le ba ra kade le ba ra kada le mashela la ba thank you jesus thank you jesus in jesus name we pray two more prayer points the, tonight is a night when you do not need to doubt anything you ask in the presence of the Lord. He says in the book of Jeremiah 32. He says, is there anything too hard for me to do? He said, I am the Lord, the God of all people. Is there anything too hard for me to do? There is nothing that God cannot do. In his presence, he conquers all. In Jesus' name. The book of Isaiah chapter 4. Verse 5 to 6. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 5 to 6.
So then the Lord will create above every dwelling place of Mount Zion and above her assemblies a cloud and a smoke by day and the shining of a flaming fire by night. For over all the glory there will be a covering. He said, over all the glory, there will be a covering. And there will be a tabernacle for shade in the daytime from the heat. A tabernacle. There will be a tabernacle. We are adding more shade to accommodate the glory. So the glory can spread. So the glory can go forth. He says that the Lord will protect him, keep him alive. He shall be called blessed. He shall be called blessed. He said there will be a tabernacle for shade in the daytime from the heat, for a place of refuge and a place of shelter from storm and rain. There shall be no storm or rain in this conference. If there's anything I've been praying for, I think I was speaking with uh, Mama Bulelo in the week, and I'm t I was telling her that last week, it, was it last year's ownership, or a year before last? In September, it was very cold, and it rained a lot. We used to come to the conference in the rain, and go back in the rain. And I was saying that if there's anything we should pray about, is that there will be no rain. Because the devil has a way of doing things during our ownership conference. But this year, there will be no destruction. There will be no deadly incident. In the name of Jesus, we are going to pray against every stampede. There will be no stampede. In other words, we are going to dismantle every devices that the enemy is putting into place to disrupt ownership conference. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the shade that has been built will be for the protection of God's people. In the spirit and in life, the shade that has been built will be for the protection of God's people against heat, against rain, against sicknesses, against deadly diseases. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to cry out to him. Begin to cry out to him. Begin to cry out to him that the Lord's protection will over will be over his people. In the name of Jesus, we shall live. O Kaya Masona Nabosha, Mandele Maria Kandele Bosha, Masekele Boda Kadia, Makala Nado Setanaba. Every device put together by the enemy against ownership conference, we dismantle, we dismantle. We pull down in the name of Jesus. We pull down in the name of Jesus. We pull down every device all put together by the enemy concerning my life. We pull down. We break every wall of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We break every wall of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, Shalabosha. There shall be no deadly incidents in the name of Jesus. We shall not have stampede. In the name of Jesus, everyone will come and go and arrive safely. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Our last prayer point comes from Isaiah 52 verse 12. 
Isaiah 52, verse 12. It says, you shall not go out. Can I have it in NIV? He said, you will not live in haste or go in flight. For the Lord will go before you. And the God of Israel will be your rear guard. The God of Israel will be your rear guard. Meaning he will cover you like this. This is you in the flight. Coming to ownership conference. When he says you will not live in a haste or go in flight. It means without him, he will not let you live. Without him, he will not let you live. He says that for the Lord, he will go before you. The Lord of Israel will be your rear guard. In this case, the Lord of house of treasures will be your rear guard. We are going to pray for divine protection. For all people who are planning to come for ownership conference from different nations. I know a lot of people have sent me messages on Facebook coming from Botswana. There's a pastor who hosted Apostle uh, Michael Oropo, I think last year in Botswana. He said he's coming with 400 people from Botswana. And I know there are people who are coming from Zambia. As they plan to leave, may God plan their journey. All guest speakers coming to this conference, there will be no story. There will be no story. The devil will not delay their flight. He will not delay their journey. Nothing will happen along the way that we cancel their traveling. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray for divine protection. That they will go out as soldiers. And come back as mighty men and women of valor. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray that God will protect them on the way. That as they are planning to come for the conference. May God go before them. May God cover them and protect them on their way. They will come, arrive safely. And they will go back and arrive safely. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that they need for their journey. The Lord has provided. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Divine protection Lord. Divine protection Lord. Divine protection Lord. We pray for your people. We cover them from afar. From wherever they are coming from. We cover them from afar. In the name of Jesus. Lord we cover them. With the blood of Jesus. We speak favor their way. Lord may you protect them. Guard them, oh God. Be their rare God. May the God that protects house of treasures protect them as they come. In the name of Jesus, there shall be no incident on the way because God is their protector. There shall be no incident on the way because God is their protector. As they come, oh God Almighty, from different directions, oh God Almighty, let the angel of protection in the east protect them let the angel of protection in the south protect them let the angels of protection in the north protect them let the angels of protection in the west protect them in the name of jesus oh god there shall be no delay there shall be no delay oh in their arrival they will arrive safely they will arrive safely they will arrive safely in the name of jesus maso talaba Let's pray, let's pray. God, we declare your hand of protection. Your hand of protection over everyone that is coming for ownership conference. Supernatural protection, angelic protection. We plead the blood of Jesus. We declare there shall be no plane crash. There shall be no accident. There shall be no evil report. We declare God's hand of protection over everyone that is coming for this conference. In the name of Jesus Christ, as they fly from the United States, they fly from UK, from Europe, as they fly from Africa, 
Father, we declare protection over their lives in the name of Jesus. Protection over everyone that is coming for this conference. Thank you, Father. Glory to Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah. The glory is here. Mm. This is holy moment. Ah. When God walks in on us. Come on now, choir, help me. Every gaze is on the lion and the Somebody pick it up. Where is sister? Where? Somebody. There you go. Come on. together for the lion and the lamb. Glory to God. Please let's welcome Pastor Benji. Amen. As he comes to take the next prayer. Glory to God. Come on, celebrate. Celebrate him as he comes. Hallelujah. Are we still on fire? Amen. Amen. And the church say amen. The governmental church say amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, mom and dad, for the opportunity. Uh, we thank God for salvation. Um, some of us, it's a Friday, it's a Saturday. Some of us uh, would have been somewhere. We also, we, it's very important for us to always remind ourselves where God has taken us from. Some of us would have been in the coffin. Some of us would have been in a hospital. But God saved us. Amen. The primary objective of the ownership conference or any other conference is to win souls. The extension of the building is to win souls, not to brag about a mega church, but is to save people like myself. So I'm going to be leading prayers um, on soul winning um, and attendance both online and those who are coming in person. Um, give me Luke chapter 14 and verse 23. This scripture is very personal to me. I can relate to this scripture. Luke chapter 14 and verse 23, I'll read from the King James Version of the Bible. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and the hedges, 
and compel them to come to come in that my house may be filled. I'm a product of compulsion. Uh, those who know my story, my, fo- my sister forced me to come. So there is a grace for compulsion. Amen. So now, um, the prayer is that God must compel people to come. Anyone that sees our flyer anywhere, they must be compelled to come. Amen. Uh, give me Joshua chapter 6 and verse 27. Amen. Um, So the Lord was with Joshua, and his fame was noised throughout all the country. Let me paraphrase. The Lord will be with House of Treasures and Ownership 2023, and its fame will spread throughout South Africa and all the nations of the world, and they shall be saved. Amen. Amen. Now, the prayer is, Heavenly Father, we pray that everyone that will set foot on this ground And everyone that will join us online will come to the knowledge of Christ and his saving power. And they will give their lives to Christ. Let us rise on our feet as we call for souls. Let us compel them to come in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we pray for the grace for compulsion, oh God. The grace that compels people to come to the knowledge of God in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, for souls to be saved, oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Heavenly Father, we pray for the saving grace of this nation, oh God. South Africa will be saved whether the devil likes it or not. Kira Shubrakato, Magula Bararasa Kadosh Kabo, Papa Baba Baraza Kadosh Kila Broderosa, Makatash Kapo, Magadera Razagala Baba Sakado, Kepa Burka Dushe Prakata, Makaba Baraza Kala Baba Basekebusha. Oh, Heavenly Father, let South Africa be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. Madu Kaburka de Satora, Magala Baba Basaka Jokrata. Oh, Heavenly Father, we call them from the east, north, west, and south, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Kalu, Brados, Kadu, Bega, Razagaba, Makadesh, Kabo, Risandele, Gerere, Sekabosha, Ola, Brekabosha. Oh, Heavenly Father, we pray, oh God, for South Africa to be saved in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus over this nation. Marco de Barrega das Cata, Papa Barazagara Rasekebosh, Marcata la Brato Kiborasa, Marcatele Braco de Catoleba, La Babara das Catos de Braquica Sunde de Marazo Cababa, Zaketele Berero Sekebosh. Heavenly Father, let our families be saved, oh God. Marque Jicrata, let our communities be saved, oh God. Let this nation be saved, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Make da rosa babura dos kapa, papa bara das kale dere mo sakadela, raba bala gara das agra gara raseke dos kiba, pera sekato, makadela barga de shakus kato, makanda da dara rosa gada rose grogus kapara rosa, makatas kapo, ma delegada rosa babura sakas kato. Are we praying, church? Are we praying, church? Yes, miracle signs and wonders are good, but the primary objective is for souls to be saved in the name of Jesus. Mata kadara zabara ra sekebosha, padara gadbori zabuda jugale me mara sekebosha, makali daregere bosa, makara basa kada baba sekebosha. Heavenly Father, we call everyone in South Africa to be a partaker of the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Lo garu zabara da zakada raba sekete, 
Matala barara zekabos, makata la brega rara zakanu shabrakata, manda la rara zakezo klema, akanda la rara rara zekabos, meti la braka fatala brega rere zekabos, makata la braga rara zakande rebo, ega la rara rara zekabo shako, makande rezebe rere zekabo shanda raba, zakanu raba zekabo in the name of Jesus Christ we have prayed. Amen. We know that as we are planning, Satan is also planning. As we are fasting, they are also fasting. Uh, give me um, 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. Very popular scripture. It says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walking about, seeking whom he may devour. The devil already has a list of people that he wants to take out. Now, um, give me Daniel 6 and verse 22 to counter what the enemy is planning. Daniel chapter 6 and verse 22. My God has sent his angel and had shut the lion's mouth that they have not hurt me for as much as before his, inno his innocency was found in me and also before thee, O oh God, have I done no hurt. Every lion that seeks to devour anyone coming from this conference, let the angel of the Lord shut their mouth in the name of Jesus. No plan of the enemy will succeed. Whether the devil likes it or not, this year we are having all our speakers as we have them on the flyer. The enemy will not pull what he's been pulling all these years. We are the governmental church and we are declaring that every speaker that is on that flyer, that is on that billboard will come and minister in the name of Jesus. Now we want to pray for protection for everyone that is coming. We plead the blood of Jesus on all our roads and we declare and decree there will be no accidents on the road. No destruction of Satan. And we declare that no car will be stolen. In the name of Jesus. Because what, what Satan does, he will, we will do something that will just put a sour taste after we have received so much. So no one will go with a heavy heart that they've lost anything. Instead, everyone that sets foot on this ground will receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I want us to pray for protection that everyone that God has ordained for this conference, they will come safe and go back safe. Let us open our mouth and pray. Makabo shatalaba redaro sakebush makadara baba sekebo shatala bregerere sekebush makadaba sakadara baba sakabo shitalaba lagadara razekebo shikatos kabera ro sekebush mandala dara razekebo shikato mandala baba sakala bagadora sekedu ja prekasa tendereba lagadu ja prekasa tala baba sekebush Oh, Heavenly Father, we pray for protection, oh God, for some trust in horses, some trust in chariots, but we trust in the name of the Lord. For un unless the Lord protect the city, Lord, the watched men worked but in vain. Heavenly Father, we seek you for your protection, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over everyone, oh God, under the sound of my voice and everyone that is connected to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, there will be no fatalities, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Kadaba zagalabaro sakata. Makadusha pregere ro sakande leba regere re re sakadusha praka papa papa skato shi pro kolarosa legende re bo sakanda la dara zakedush kaba kedero ro sakande leba re ro sekabo shato shala legende re ro sakabo shato shala legere re sekabo shanda la bara skado re ma sekabo makanda la dara zakadusha preka sakala ba lo kanda la dara zakade mo sekabo 
Church, are you praying, church? Oh, Barusa Kenusha Prakadus Kaparusa Denemos. Oh, Laduraba. Let's push this thing. Let's push this thing. Oh, Barusa Dore Maruba Chepala Rosaka. Kapapura Soke Boba Baba Baba Baba. Rakal Kodoshi Brega Sokota. Kela Gerele Zendele Rosaba Sakata. Magelo Diraba Shukatente. Misa More Maruba Bara Sekeskode. Oh, divine protection, oh Lord. Oh, Mali, there is a kebosha. Oh, Kavasa. Oh, Heavenly Father, encapsulate us with your glory. For your glory shall be our defense. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mosadu la pura mushkato. De gada baradu jale bararas katate. De gedere re se kebosh. Ma katala bararu se bede ro se kendo de ba. La braga fato de brega sho. Oh, kalo brega raras katate. De gedere re se kedere de la. Oh, protect us, Lord. Oh, Lord, protect us, oh, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, la duza prakatos kapira zuda lebesa. Eh, de 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 de. Manula ba lege de bos. Pa bara dara gade de bos. Shite le prakasa. Oh, kado le prakos kato. Ma kanda la gada da 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 da. Frekes ko tu se preke de bos. Ma kata la bara zode de bos. Pray, church. Pray, 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 pray. Prabhu jadu kalu bera rosa janda raba. Ah gala da 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 da. Zandele gedu jabro kasa. Oh kadele gede rosa. Ma kadala bara la sekes godo. Oh balo gedu jabro na bebe sekebos. Oh pray church, pray, 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 pray. Oh kalu zato bigado. Peta la gada la da 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 rosa kote. Ma da gada la la sekele shukaba. Ah da la gada la sekele mo shinde neva. Oh kadega jo rasa ka. Oh Lord, shut the mouth of the lion, oh God. Oh God, 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 oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. Can we feel the glory in this house? Uh, the third prayer point, let, we are praying for miracles, signs, and wonders. Acts chapter 4, verse 29 through 30. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servant that with all boldness they may speak thy word by stretching forth thy hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. Now the prayer we are praying for tangible sustainable miracles. We have seen people falling under power and it's the same people every time believing God for the same thing. So we need sustainable, tangible miracles, like the miracle that I have, that God healed me eight years ago, and I have never gone back. Those are the kind of miracles that we are believing God for. Amen. So our prayer is, Heavenly Father, we pray for tangible and sustainable miracles, signs and wonders, even before the conference comes. Amen. Let us believe God for our miracles. 
You don't have to wait for ownership. You can get your miracle today. Amen. Amen. The very same way I got my healing in a Wednesday service. Amen. So let us rise our fa- uh, our, uh, on our feet and join our faith and believe God for miracles, signs, and wonders. Kaba shatala bara rosekebo shandaraba makada ba sala brekebo shakada ba ba sekebo sh makanda dada raza kala bregerere sekebo shakata makanda dada raza kala bara sekebo sh makata la brago ra sekebo shandaraba ba sekebo sh mokale derere sekebo shikata la bara rosekebo sh Heavenly Father, we pray for some sustainable signs, miracles, and wonders, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Maguda Rosekebo Shakata, Agalada Raza de Rosekebo Shandaraba, Mekida Zukreko Shibrakasa, Egele Raza Kandala Razekebo Shandala Razagabos, Makadisha Brekere Rezekebo Shandarababa, Legede Rosekebo Shandaleba Rosekebos, Miracles, signs, and wonders that will be seen by the world that will draw men to you, God, in the name of Jesus. E da lugar o da jebra casa tela mandere bolsa, ma cada baba sa candele da raze que bolsa, ma te carros da bara raza cajo para, e cada da raza cando reze que bolsa, ma tala brega se que dere bolsa que bolsa, ma canda da raze que dere bolsa que bolsa anda raba, le graga da raze que bolsa anda raze que bolsa, ma canda da re bolsa que bolsa casa andere re bolsa que bolsa. Makadi rabo sandele dere rose kebos, makada rara zadele bara sakadu shapre bara sekebos, o kagu zadele bara rasa kanda rabos, e gados kati shapre bere rese kebos, matala dara dosa pre kebos, makanda dara rase kebos shakata, o kando rese pre gere rese kebos shanda raba, mandala grega dosa kosate. O kada ra ra ze kendele bara ra ze kebo shanda ra 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 ze kebo ma kada la breka sata o kado re ba ba ze kebo shanda ra ba ma do le breke shoko de re ba in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we have prayed amen and amen and my last prayer point we are praying for our our guest ministers and all our ministers that will be uh, giving us the word on the day. That the word of the Lord be in their mouth. That the hand of God will be upon them and they will speak as God oracles. Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15. And uh, after that, give me Romans chapter 10 and verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Amen. Um, Romans chapter 10 and verse 15. And how shall they preach except they be sent? Dad spoke about preachers who are not sent. Whenever God wants to change your story, he sends a man. For this nation... He sent this great man of God, Apostle Felix Oko. So, let me continue. How, let me read. And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Now, the word of God, God needs to put his words his word in their mouth, not their own words. They must not, they, they must not come and preach stories. They must preach the undiluted word of God that will change the, na- the course of this nation. Amen. So the prayer, and another thing, it is, it is not in, in enough for you to hear the word because you can hear the word, but without a hearing ear, it does nothing to you. That's why 
some of us are still in the mess that we are in. When the, the gospel is preached on a daily basis, no fornication, no alcohol, and people are still struggling with those things. So as we pray this prayer, we must also pray for the hearing ear. Amen. So the prayer is, uh, let's all rise on our feet. Say this after me, Heavenly Father. We pray that you give us all, you, we pray that you give all our ministers for everyone attending. The conference online and personal. But most of all, give us a hearing ear. Amen. We were in Cape Town uh, last week, and Dad uh, said Mom's testimony. I, I, I was about to send him the message that the message that you've been preaching all this time is the first time that I really got it. So maybe it's the position where I was. So we need to take a certain position for us to receive from God. Amen. So let us open our mouth and pray that we, the man must come with the word, but we must also receive a hearing ear. Open your mouth and pray. Heavenly Father, give us a hearing ear, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, as we receive this word, O oh God, may this word transform us, O oh God. May this word change us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Ma kada baba sa kanda la gara ro se kebush kanda la baba se kebush ma kado la baba se kende le bara la sa kebush ma kala bara la sa kende le bo se kebush shanda la ba regele bara sa kado sha prekere re se kebush ma kado le ba se kedo la baba ba sa kado le prekeshota ma keto shanda brande kele brede de de be shata ya. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, let your hand be upon every guest speaker. Lord, give us a word. Send a word through this man of God that will be coming here to minister. Lord, send us your word. Send us your word in the name of Jesus. Send us your word, Father. Let your word be in their mouth. Put your words in their mouth in the name of Jesus. Let your hand rest upon them. Let your anointing come upon them as they prepare for ownership conference. I decree in the name of Jesus the heaven shall be open over them and I pray Father Lord for everyone coming that you give us a hearing ear and a seeing eye in the name of Jesus may we understand the word my father let the word preach be understood in the name of Jesus Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. All right, let's welcome Pastor Pumlani as he comes to take the last prayer. Amen. Look at your neighbor, say, endure to the end. Oh, yeah, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't get tired. All right, let's celebrate him. God bless you. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Teddy. Thank you, Mommy. I greet you, saints, in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, let us celebrate our spiritual parents. The Bible says, he who receives the prophet in the name of the prophet receives the prophet's reward. Amen. I'm going to be uh, praying with regards to soul winning but firstly, I want us to pray for our flyer. If you are in, on social media, please make sure you share your flyer. Look at your neighbor and say, fly, neighbor, have you shared the flyer? Sh say, say share, 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 neighbor. Amen. The book of Joel chapter 3 verse 13. Joel chapter 3 verse 13. Amen. It says, put in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, go down, for the winepress is full. The vats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Amen. 
So every form of advertisement that we are using for this conference, they represent a seeker. So I want us to pray. Be it a mega outreach, any outreach program that you are using, be it Instagram, social media, uh, television, billboards, I want us to rise up night, right now, and I want us to believe God. And our prayer point, what is our prayer point? Father, turn all our flyers into a spiritual magnet, thereby attracting multitudes into this church. Amen. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Let us all stand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, turn all our flyers into spiritual magnets, thereby attracting multitudes into this house throughout all our outreach programs. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Rebo shakatabra, masilara baramanderebe, shakatabra kandebe kendebe, masalara baramanderebe. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for our flyers, oh Lord. Our flyers represent a sickle. In the name of Jesus, for the harvest is ripe. In the name of Jesus, turn all our flyers into a spiritual magnet, thereby attracting multitudes of souls into House of Treasures Ministries. In the name of Jesus, we pray for our social media pro platforms. Father, turn them into spiritual magnets. In the name of Jesus, our billboards, oh Lord, our TV advertisement, Lord, turn them into spiritual magnets in the name of Jesus. We pray for our outreach program in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are believing God for, for souls to attend this ownership, both in person and online. Amen. My next prayer point is in the book of Mark chapter 5. We'll read verse 18 and 19. It says, and when he was come into the ship, he that had been, demon, had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. How be it Jesus suffered him not, but said unto him, Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord had done for you and had, had compassion on you. Amen. I want us to pray for encounters. This man was demon possessed and he met Jesus. He had an encounter with Jesus. The Bible tells us that after this encounter with Jesus, this man didn't sit down. He wanted to go with Jesus and the disciples. But Jesus said to him, no, go home to your friends and tell your story. Amen. I want us to believe God in this conference, even as right now we are fasting. Believe God for an encounter, an encounter that will make you to be on the go for Jesus, an encounter that will not make you to sit down. You will no longer be in this house and you are not serving anywhere. Well, I want us to believe God for an encounter, an encounter that will make you to win, not, 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 not Johannesburg, but to win the provinces of South Africa. Remember, governmental is about territory. The more territory you, you, you occupy, the more influence. Amen. So I want us to believe God for an encounter. Our prayer is, Lord, grant me an encounter that will propel me to be on the go for Jesus. An encounter that will propel me to win souls for Jesus. An encounter that will propel me to take over for Jesus. To take over industries. To become captains of industries. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your right hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, grant me an encounter, Lord, that will make me to be on the go for Jesus. And an encounter that will make me 
to take territories for Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Rakata prakate zekete rebe kende rebe mashala raba raba la manderebo rapa sakata prakanda ba. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for an encounter, Lord, in this 2023 ownership conference. Grant us an encounter with you, Jesus, an encounter that will propel us to win souls, an encounter that will propel us to take territories for Jesus. Reka basataja, sheketo berekendebe, mashala rabala manderebo. Are you praying, saints? Are you asking for an encounter? Ask for an encounter in the name of the Lord. The demon possessed man, he had an encounter with Jesus and he ended up winning 10 cities for Jesus. Rebasata, shekete brekete, rakata baranderebe, masala rabala manderebo, rekata brakandebe. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Kabo shata, shekete beke, rekete bogoto, masila rabala manderebe, shababa barala manderebe. And an encounter, Lord, that will make me to preach Jesus. And an encounter, Lord, that will make me to, to, to win territories. And an encounter, Lord, that will make me to take over this nation for Jesus. Shekete, Rikata, Matikete, Lekoto, Lekete, Lekete, In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. The next prayer point, we're going to pray for divine protection. Amen. We'll read Isaiah 49, verse 25 to 26. I want you to believe God for divine protection during this period. Divine protection for your family. Divine protection for House of Treasures Ministries. Divine protection for those that are following this ministry. Divine protection for those that are partnering with this ministry. Amen. Are you ready to pray this prayer point? Amen. It says, listen, O coastland, to me and take heed, you people, from, from afar. The Lord, amen. But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prey of the, the terrible shall be delivered, for I will contend with him that contended with you. The Lord says he will do what? He will contend with those that contend with you. Amen. And I will save your children. Next verse. And I will feed them that oppress you with their own flesh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood as, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, I am the, the, thy Savior and thy Redeemer, thy mighty, mighty one of Israel. Amen. What is our prayer point? Father, let every contention of hell against the ongoing revival in this church be visited with divine vengeance. Amen. Resulting in the multiplication of this church and the church of Jesus in this nation. Rise up as we pray this prayer point and say, Father, I don't hear you. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let every contention of hell against the ongoing revival in this church be visited with divine vengeance, resulting in the multiplication of this church and the church of Jesus in this nation. Lift up your voice and pray. Oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come against every contention, every contention of hell, against the ongoing revival in this church, in the ownership conference. Let those contention, in the name of Jesus, be met, O oh Father, with divine vengeance, in the name of Jesus. Let them be confounded. Let them be confounded. Those that want to confound ownership conference, let them be confounded in the name of Jesus. Let them be put to shame. Let them be put to shame. Those that want to shame House of Treasures Ministries in the name of Jesus. 
Basela raba la mande rebe. Shaba ba 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 ra 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 ba. Shaba ba 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 ra 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 ba. Basela kata bra kate be. She kata bra kate be kende be. Basela raba la mande raba la mande rebo. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. No one will be sick in your family during this season. You will not be sick during this season. In the name of Jesus, no calamity shall befall you. You will attend this conference. Give me Job, 5, uh, uh, Job chapter 5, verse 12. As we continue to pray for divine protection. The book of Job chapter 5, verse 12. It says, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Whatever the enterprise the enemy is planning against anyone in this house, against anyone who's following this ministry, against anyone who's partnering with this, with this ministry, we are going to pray, Lord, frustrate. Lord, disappoint. Every device of the crafty, in the name of Jesus, lift up your right hand and say, Lord, frustrate every device of the crafty against my life, my family, House of Treasures Ministries, those that are following this ministry, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Oh Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, oh Lord, against every device of the enemy, Lord, disappoint. Lord, frustrate. Akabasha kataba. Masala rabala manderebe. Makabra kosoto breketebe. We decree and declare that the enemy's enterprise, the enemy's hands, is destroyed concerning this ministry, concerning our guest speakers. In the name of Jesus, every device of the enemy, we destroy it. In the name of Jesus. La brakasateke. Shakata brakataba. Masala rabala manderebe. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are praying now for unusual miracles. You know, we do outreach mostly on Saturdays. People don't believe un unless they see the power of God. So we are in a season where God is releasing a power in his church. So in this ownership conference, I want us to believe God for miracles, signs, wonders, unusual miracles. Amen. Let's read the book of Acts chapter 19. We'll read verse 11 to 12. Acts 19, 11 to 12. Are you ready to pray for miracles? Are you ready to believe God for unusual miracles? The Bible says, and God wrote special miracles by the hands of Paul. Next verse. So that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirit went out of them. On the same chapter, give me verse 18 to 20. Verse 18. And many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. Many of them also which used curious arts brought their books together and burned them before all men. And they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. Verse 20. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. So this usual, unusual signs and miracles the, the resulting effect is that many should believe. Is that sorcerers, sangomas, occultic men, they must believe. They must see these signs and they must leave their sorcering business. They must, leave, they must come out from being sangomas to becoming believers in the name of Jesus. What is our prayer point? Father, in the name of Jesus, perform unusual miracles throughout ownership conference and let the message of the Lord Jesus spread widely in this nation, in this nation, in Africa and in the nations of the world. Lift up your voice and believe God for unusual miracles in this ownership conference. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, for this ownership conference for unusual miracles. Unusual miracles. The Bible says you brought, you wrote miracles through the hands of Paul that even handkerchiefs could heal the sick, could drive out demons. In the name of Jesus, let unusual miracles break out from this ownership conference. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let the gospel spread widely in this nation. In the name of Jesus, shake it to go to Baraka, Roko second deliver a candaraba, Shaba Baba Baralabara Mandebo, Rabasa Rabara Mandebe, Masala Rabala Mandaraba Mandebo, let Sangomas give up on their son, on their on their ministry. Enjoy and become believers in the name of Jesus. Ashakataba, Shekete Perekete, Sharabali Menderebele Menderebu, Basala Rabala Barabala Manderebu, Rabasakataba, undeniable miracles, undeniable miracles in the name of Jesus. Labraco Setebe, Shabra Baba Barabala Baba, Basala Rabala Barabala Manderebe, Shabra Baba Rakadebe, Shabra Baba Barakadebe, O Rabasekebe. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Prayer point number four, we're going to be praying for the guest ministers. Amen. We need to pray that they will speak the oracles of God. Amen. They will speak the word of God with boldness. Amen. The scripture that we're going to read is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. The book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. Amen. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known mystery of the gospel. Next verse. For which... I am an ambassador in bonds that the reign I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Amen. Colossians chapter 1 verse 28 to 29. The book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 28 to 29. Whom we preach warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ. Amen. Next verse. Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. Amen. Now I want us to believe God for a word. That um, as Papa Anselm is preparing to come, as he's preparing for, for this conference, that God will give him a word. That God will give Apostle Joshua a way. That God will give Apostle Michael Oropo a way. That God will give Apostle David Ogweli a way. Amen. Another verse that I want us to, to read and then we pray. I think this is my last prayer point. Amen. The book of Jonah chapter... Three, we'll read verse 1 to 2. The book of Jonah, chapter 3, verse 1 to 2. We're going to believe God for a word, for a message. The Bible says, And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. Can you give me in... in in the New King James Version. Amen. Or NLT. So Jonah. From, start from verse 1 to 2. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah. The second time saying. Next verse. Arise go to Nineveh. That great city. And preach to it the message that I tell you. Amen. So the message, we're going to pray for the message. That there is a message that when it comes from the throne of heaven, 
it has an, a, a great impact. If you read this um, chapter, you will find the Bible says, from, from great to the least, they repented of all their evils. So, so we're going to believe God that the, the, the apostles, as they come, as they are preparing for this conference, God will give them the word, will give them the message that will, will, will capacitate South Africa, that will make South Africa to get out of its evil and to repent and to come to the knowledge of the Lord. Amen. Are you ready to pray that, that, that prayer? Let us rise up. This is my last prayer. Say, Father, give apostle a message to deliver for the nation of Africa and the rest of the world. Lift up your voice and pray. La brako se telebre, masala rabala manderebo. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, for the message that you will grant your servant as they come, Lord, to, to this altar, that you will give them the message, the message of, for this nation, the message for the nations of Africa, the message for the rest of the world, in the name of Jesus, the message that will convict this nation, the message that will make this nation to repent from its evil, in the name of Jesus. Re basoto tebre, masala rabala barakanderebo, shabraka sata brakandarabala manderebosha. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Rabadaya da brede de debosh, le barosa ribada gabrande debosha taya. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you the glory, Father, in the name of Jesus. Now the Bible tells us that this is the confidence we have in Him. That when we pray according to his will, what happens? And if you know he has heard you, what do you do? The Bible says that means you have received the petition which you have asked. So if you believe you have received it tonight, like the one man that returned to say thank you, lift up your voice and give God thanks. Give him the glory. Give him thanks. Father, we thank you. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We return all the glory. We return all the praise. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for answering us. We receive everything we have asked you for. We receive it, Father. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Now as you go, May the angels of God go ahead of you and make every crooked place straight. Every one of you will get home safely. The hand of Satan is not permitted to touch you. There is no evil person that will sight you as you live here today. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. And I declare that God will give you grace and strength. As we continue to wait upon him. Thank you father. In Jesus name we pray. And the church say amen. Alright now. Uh, when is our workers meeting? Next week. Alright so today. You are going to go sleep. Rest. And we are going to be back here at 5pm. What time? What time? Look at your neighbor say. Not 6.30. 5pm. All right. So our prayer today, Saturday, is 5 to 6. So make sure you are here as we close the fast for today. God bless you. I love you all. See you later today.